All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. This is Theo Trade. You are watching Ultima Alert. We're going to start here momentarily. Make sure everybody's tuned in, turned on. Yeah. See me all right. Hear me all right. You don't see anything yet because I haven't even turned the camera on, but I am about to. Sorry, I'm looking away from that. I got I got stuff everywhere, all over screens. All right. So welcome, everybody. Do, uh, do chat in, let us know that you hear us all right. By the way, I'm always curious where everybody's joining us from today. So uh, feel free to chat in uh, whatever part of the country and or world you might be joining us from. Uh, most people, you know, kind of assume that everybody here is from the, uh, from the U.S. Not necessarily so. So uh, <laughs> fantastic. Okay. Some of you are thawing out a little bit there. I uh, was chatting with somebody earlier from Canada. All right, drinking a little bit of caffeine along the way here today, too. So uh, as usual, we're going to get started here again momentarily. By the way, a few uh, informal things before we officially uh, do get off and rolling. Uh, number one, if you see me looking around a little bit, because I've got uh, monitors everywhere here. I'm on uh, uh, one of my bigger systems today, so a little easier to obviously do a presentation. I'm trading off the uh, right-hand side of my screen. I'm communicating with you guys. But one of the questions that always comes up right up front is, can I ask questions? Uh, you can. <clears throat> the other thing is uh, uh, people always ask me, is this live? It's live. In fact, we may even execute a couple of trades today. So uh, when I say it's live, it's live. This is, this is a market. One of the reasons I like to, uh, and, and I'm pretty adamant about this, I really like to host these sessions during the live market. You know, we used to do it at night or on a weekend or something. It just makes no sense to me. So <laughs> I like to talk about markets. Uh, I do this because I sit here and trade throughout the course of the day. As I said, I was trading off the side of my desk. I have uh, positions on, obviously, right now. Hello from Bangkok. Ooh, it's getting late. It's getting late there. Actually, I don't know uh, how late, but I do know it's uh, it's late. So uh, again, people typically joining us from all over. Um, Again, a couple of people up in uh, in Canada kind of chatting in. Thank you. Uh, Texas, Illinois. Come on, where else? Okay, they got, they got nothing. They got nothing. Anyway, <clears throat> I am presenting today from uh, Paradise Valley in uh, just outside Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, headed back uh, home to the island. Uh, this is this is other home here in Arizona, but uh, we're headed back to uh, St. Croix at yeah, the end of April. It's it's starting to get warm here in Arizona, so I am I am out of the contest. Anyway, with uh, with that, a couple of people from uh, from Illinois. Listen, I I did my time in Chicago. I'm out of that one too. All right. So with uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get off and rolling over here. Oh, cool! Somebody actually just chatted in from Carefree, Arizona. I used to live up there. Love it. Absolutely love Carefree. All right. Let's uh, let's get officially uh, off and going, and uh, discuss a little bit about uh, obviously uh, Ultima. So uh, Ultima and Ultima Alert. First of all, this is Ultima Alert, the high probability income generator. Look, my name is Don Kaufman, and you are watching a Theo Trade presentation. One of the things I want to throw up there right up front is that if you've tuned in to any of the presentations we've done, literally in like the last three years, okay? In no uncertain terms, almost everything we've done in the last three years, the core of what we've done has been around Ultima. And uh, the reason being is it works. And we just keep, you know, hey, look, if something's working, you know, you don't, you don't need to change it. You need to stick with it. You need to actually execute upon it. And that's exactly what we're doing. I'll throw this up here. It's a risk disclosure. We're not financial advisors nor broker dealer. I always put this in here because I did, in fact, spend 15 years in the brokerage side of the business. I'll discuss kind of my career and a little bit of my background here momentarily. Uh, a few housekeeping items as we get started here. Look, this is a skill set. I don't mind saying to people, look, look we're going to go through a lot today. You know, I, I can come in here and I can do as much as you want to answer, as many questions as you guys would like. Uh, and by the way, I always reiterate this. If you have questions throughout the course of the presentation, put them into either the webinar chat or the question and answer. And again, I'm pointing over here because that's on my screen where I see that I read this stuff in real time. Like, don't think that any messages, I don't care if there's 
800 people on right now. Uh, no messages are going to slip by me without me seeing it. <laughs> so um, by all means, uh, chat in. I, uh, I do ask questions throughout the course of today's presentation. These are not rhetorical questions. You know, look, I do this during the live market because I want that kind of interaction. I trade during the live market because, you know, I want people to actually see some executions. Uh, look, there is a skill set that I'm going to go through today. Uh, it is quite deep. I say shut the door, turn off Skype chat, whatever else is distracting you. Uh, put the phones on silent mode. Like, no joke about that. It's one of the first things I actually do. I love that. I go over here, the phone disappears. Okay. It's there. There's, there's a phone. Surprise. Anyway, <laughs> I say put the phones on silent mode. This is skill set. We're going to go through a lot. Or kick out the kick out the kids, kick out the grandkids. You can keep the dog. All right. This is important. Focus on being here. Listen, for those of you that are tuned in today, uh, we're going to provide you our gift to you is the auto expected move indicator. If you've tuned in to really any video that I have ever done, almost every single video, and again, no way, shape or form, like I, I can't get through a video without talking about expected move. It's an indicator that is absolutely a necessity to me. It's what drives the markets these days. Stay with me right until the end of the webcast. <coughs> If you do, we will provide you a link, okay, to go grab the auto expected move indicator. We provide this, it is a $500 value. We provide it to everybody we possibly can. We want you to know, okay, what's moving markets these days, all right, and what are critical levels and expected move and the auto expected move indicator is everything. This is a screenshot of NVIDIA, but you know, I'm just, I'm not a big screenshot kind of an individual. I like to focus Again, a bit on live markets. The other thing you should know before I even show you the auto expected move, everything that we do here okay, at Theo Trade is completely no holds barred. And what I mean by that, and I want to be very, very clear with, uh, with this distinction. Look, when, uh, when I discuss anything live trading wise, I let people see everything, no holds barred. Everything, every PL, every balance, what I'm making on the day, what I'm losing on the day. Uh, I trade both at Thinkorswim and I uh, trade at Tasty Trade. Okay. Trade at Tasty Trade and Thinkorswim. Uh, for those of you that don't know this, uh, Tasty Trade and Thinkorswim come from the exact same founders. Uh, I kind of, you know, I'm a little bit of a tweener. I'm trading much more now on Tasty than I am on Thinkorswim, but I maintain quite a number of positions on, uh, on both sides of the applications. Uh, in any regard, one of the most important things that I can express to you today is when I say no holds barred, there's complete transparency. You'll hear me say that a number of times today. There's complete transparency in everything that we do here at Theo Trade. Uh, we are traders. We come from a background of market making. Some of us, the brokerage, the hedge fund industry. I'll discuss my background here momentarily, but it's one of the most critical things to understand. This is a chart of Microsoft. I'm going to apply auto expected moves. What auto expected moves does, <clears throat> these three lines, in fact, I'm going to zoom into it really quickly so you can get a better feel. These three lines okay, are what the option market depicts risk to be. The central line is where the week started. The lower line is the lower edge of the expected move and the upper edge of the expected move, right? Week started, upper edge, lower edge. They are weekly expected moves. It's what the option market depicts risk to be. So the option market says, for example, we should move plus or minus $5. There are, for instance, $50 billion says we should move $5 higher or lower. It doesn't give you directional bias but it does give you okay, the range of movement of a given week, which is absolutely essential because you'll often see us come to the lower end of the range, okay, come to the lower range, come to the upper edge of the range. Like how many weeks in a row do you need to see the exact same thing? We can definitely breach, but look how often, look how often we adhere, adhere to expected move, adhere to expected move, adhere to expected move. It is an absolutely essential and phenomenal indicator Again, this is our gift to you. Stay with me right until the end of the webcast, all right? And we'll give you a copy of it. All right, right down to business. This is why you're here today. So we're going to discover Ultima, what Ultima is. One of the first things I like to say right up front, listen, 
Ultima, <laughs> it's not ultimate. You know, it's never meant to be ultimate, okay? Ultima has to deal with volatility of the volatility of the volatility, right? Ultima is actually a tertiary, okay, of what we term a Greek. Uh, in, in geek language, what that basically means is, right, Ultima actually deals with volatility in the marketplace. So we're going to talk about Ultima and why it's so ideal for the current environment, right? Uh, you're going to learn exactly what Ultima is. You're going to learn a trading symbol that we use to create these types of trades. We're going to talk expressly about edge, an edge for the retail trader. One of the things that I want to express to you Okay. And I really do want to express this to you early on is very few people understand conceptually what edge is. And I'll just lay it on the line for you. Edge is something that you can actually display, for instance, mathematically and say, if I did this a hundred times, would I have positive expected returns? All too often people they get themselves involved in trades and they're like, wow, the MACD did this and the Bollinger Band did this and the, you know this did this. And I'm like, yeah, but the trade that you put on doesn't have any edge. So what's what's the point of this? Well, yeah, but if I'm right, okay, you got to forget about right or wrong. And we're going to get to that in a big uh, in a big step here. Okay, you're going to learn how to reap the benefits of very high probability trades. So much of what I'm going to discuss today is going to be some really high probability trading. Um, but more importantly, uh, how to actually keep you know the profitability of high probability trades. How not to take large losses. So I'm emphatic about hedging. You're going to hear the term hedge. For those of you that have never heard the term hedge, listen! Hedging is risk reduction, okay? Hedge now or forever hold your peace. So when we do trades, we hedge, okay? And I'm going to discuss that to some extent. And you're going to learn what products are working and what products are a recipe for disaster. Bottom line, you know, that's, that's what we're here to do. Edge is a big one, okay? Mitigation of risk, that's just controlling your risk is another one, aligning with the markets, obviously. And then, of course, uh, products that are viable and products that are recipes for disaster. So here's a little bit about me. I'll give you the uh, the dime tour of, uh, of what a Don Kaufman happens to be. So uh, I watched order flow for 15 years. And I always say this, that's like in very large part what kind of brought me here. So people always ask me how I got involved in the business and so forth. So I'll start from the beginning. Look, I didn't get involved in trading. Okay. Uh, like the same way everybody else does. Like I didn't get involved in trading. I was in college and I was interested in it. Or, you know, all of a sudden I fell backwards into it. Like I hear crazy stories. Like I was a high school teacher and then I was a trader. I was a taxi cab driver. And then I was a trader. I grew up in trading. <laughs> I grew up around it. Um, my family has been in trading since the 1970s. Uh, I had an uncle that actually started one of the greatest quant firms of all time. It was called O'Connor and Associates. If you're from the Chicago area, you probably have heard of O'Connor and Associates. O'Connor eventually sold the firm in the early 1990s. It was a multi-billion dollar deal, but I grew up around it. People ask me when I actually learned the business, like literally, when did I learn it? No idea. I can tell you stories all the way back to about I don't know, seven, eight years old of going down to the trading floors. I remember talking about Thanksgiving dinner when we're in the money, out of the money. Like that's just, it's just how I grew up. I grew up around it. Um, I did not go to college for, uh, for trading, uh, but three weeks outside of school, I uh, had a cousin trading on the floor that said, hey, come to Chicago, yada, yada, yada. I went to Chicago. I clerked for a couple of weeks. Next thing I know, I'm never leaving. <laughs> that was in 1998. I was there. I started trading right before the fall of long-term capital management, some uh, volatile times. I was born into volatility. Um, I met a couple of traders on the floor in uh, in Chicago. Uh, one of their names was uh, Tom Sosnoff. Tom and I kind of hit it off. I joined him officially in 2001. And, uh, you know, the rest is kind of history with Thinkorswim. So no one heard of Thinkorswim in 2001. Uh, I was on the executive team when we took the company public in 2007. I was there when TD Ameritrade acquired us in 2009. Uh, I had a five-year lockup clause and finally exited TD Ameritrade in 2015. My entire career predominantly at both Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade, I built the whole education side of, uh, of Thinkorswim. I built the chat rooms, the education side of it, a lot of the tech in here, specifically analytics. <laughs> analytics is my area of expertise in here. But um, 
it was a, uh, it was a great exit in 2000, you know, in nine when TD bought us, but it was an even better exit in 2015. Uh, took off a couple of months, went completely nuts. We launched Theotrade. It's kind of what, what brings me here. And Theotrade is based, okay, uh, predominantly on watching order flow, meaning that Everything we learned of 15 years in the brokerage world, and I say we, look, Theotrade is not a one-trick pony. It's not just Don Kaufman. We have Jeff Bierman, who is actually the uh, the head of charts, if you will, at Thinkorswim, uh, chief market technician for TD Ameritrade. We have Blake Young. We have Matt Williamson. We have Slim Miller. You know, we have Brian Aponte, Todd Sweet, Brandon Chapman. Okay, many of these individuals actually come from a Thinkorswim TD Ameritrade background. Look, the bottom line is we studied trades. We know exactly what your order flow is. We've seen everything. That's why I say this is like no holds barred. It drives me crazy when people don't show their accounts. I see my account. There it is. Okay. Look, we're having a good day. Could have just been the opposite today. But I mean, that's just that's just one account. You get to see, you know, millions of dollars in motion at all times. But I'm also very adamant. Okay, I trade. This is a five thousand dollar account. Why do I do that? Because it doesn't do me any good. Like, ooh, he has a million dollar account. That's special. Okay, a five thousand dollar account, and I'll show you everything I can do with a five thousand dollar account to a five million dollar account. It's no difference. So um, it's a uh, world is wide open now for even small traders, and we're going to discuss that today. Look, what you're going to learn here today comes from watching billions of others' mistakes. If you ever need to get a hold of me after today, just go to support at theotrade.com. Okay, we answer emails here. All right, I'm very adamant about that as well. We answer emails. If you have a question, we have an answer for you. Um, all you have to do is put my name in the subject line. The email will go directly to me. We use a common inbox, but uh, you can get directly to me at any point. Um, this is me. It's the last time I was actually in Chicago. I do weekly spots on TD Ameritrade TV. Uh, I still do the occasional spot on CNBC. Clearly, this is one of the more you know memorable experiences. They pitted me against Kevin O'Leary. He was long Apple. I was short Apple. It was spectacular. By the way, the short position actually worked out uh, at that particular time frame. It's a couple of years ago, but it's the most memorable. Most of the time they just put me on with, with some crazy monkey in there, analyst. Uh, the other thing that's also quite memorable, we took the cover of IBD. For those of you who don't know IBD, it's Investors Business Daily. Um, remember, William O'Neill. Uh, anyway, this was uh, the cover in December. And uh, this was this recent December, for those of you uh, looking over here, right in there, it's December 19th of 2022, okay? And uh, the cover story was basically, all right, making profits in a sour marketplace. And of course, the uh, the key was in, uh, this has actually been the uh, the best year I've had since the financial crisis of 08. Last year was a spectacular year trading. Look, it's about volatility. Volatility has arrived. It's not going to abate anytime soon. One of the first things you have to understand about this marketplace, okay, and I think that this is important. I want to get it out in the open, Okay. This is not about what you think in the market. It's not about what, you know, stocks going up, stocks going down. Look, okay, bottom line, volatility has arrived. And you can look at VIX until you're blue in the face. VIX is still higher. For those of you that don't know VIX, it's the S&P 500 volatility index, right? But when I start to discuss, you know, trading, right, one of the first things that people always think about when they think of VIX all right, let's go back over like, uh, let's go max chart and VIX. I find this entertaining. So here's the max chart and VIX, right? One of the things you're going to see, we're in a much higher volatility climate than we have been, for instance, in the last, you know, 10 to 15 years. Coming out of the financial crisis, volatility dove down. VIX was, you know, average in the low 14, 15 range. VIX has been uh, middle of the road, like minimum, like right around 20. The lowest we've seen is closer to about 17 recently. Nevertheless, VIX is considerably higher. VIX is not necessarily the wonderful measurement of volatility. Uh, nevertheless, okay, here's some things that are going to keep volatility alive. Inflation still running red hot. We're still over 6%. Fed pushing rates higher and contracting the balance sheet. That remains to be seen. Uh, strong dollar, even though the dollar has been falling lately, it's still incredibly strong. Okay, Geopolitical risks are proliferating. Look, all of this is about game on. You know, markets got real in 2022, and I'm just going to do a brief discussion on this because it's worthwhile. When I say markets got real in 2022, you know, what you were in for the previous years is what I kind of term a Fed-fueled fantasy world. 
right? <clears throat> I mean, we had zero rates for how long? Hmm? Pretty much anywhere from the financial crisis to uh, roughly 2018, they tried to lift rates in late 2015, that failed miserably. So for the better part of since 2008, 2009, until uh, about a year ago, we had rates at zero. Things are just getting back to real. Stock picking and Reddit boards, they're not gonna cut it anymore. Like when I talk about stock picking, I'm not trying to be you know, diabolical and say you can never buy another stock again. Look, I'm long and short stock. As I said, everything that we do here, everything we do here at Theotrade, okay, open book, you get to see it all. I'm long, I'm short, whatever. I'm short a lot of stocks. These stocks that I'm short though, that's not for a shorter term trade. That's not a trade, it's an investment. I like to make investments to the downside, okay? But the one key point to be made out of all of this, right? First of all, embrace the chaos. That's number one, embrace the chaos. That volatility can be a very, very good thing. <clears throat> um, and again, you have to embrace the chaos or you're just gonna get run over constantly. But you need a strategy that's not gonna rely on directional bias. If you're gonna sit here and try to time this marketplace, you're gonna get ripped apart, right? <clears throat> and you gotta reduce risk while substantiating monthly returns. So you just gotta be able to bang out, generate monthly returns, which is next to impossible if you're gonna rely on directional bias. Have you seen markets lately? And I'm not trying to be facetious in any way, shape or form. Have you seen markets lately? Let's go to the spiders for a second. Spider is the market. <clears throat> over the last year, people look at this, they go, it's a wicked rally right up until we tanked. It's a wicked rally right up until we tanked. It's a wicked rally right up until we tanked. And then it's a wicked rally. And then today there's tankage. It's, <clears throat> it's a very one-sided market. We go up, we go down, we go up, we go down. Look, you can't substantiate much in this. Like timing this, you're like, mama Fibonacci. Okay, I'm not here to poke fun at your Fibonacci. Well, I am actually a little bit. <laughs> okay, I... Uh, I reserve the right to make fun of charts because I help build the charting platform of Thinkorswim. So uh, I reserve the right to uh, make fun of it all. But you got to basically generate returns regardless of what you think in this business because you're going to need a strategy that can survive it. With that, let's get down to Ultima trades. So <clears throat> what is Ultima? Higher volatility has resulted in significantly more options premium. Basically, option premium is juicy. Let's start with that. Now, I said options. I said the O word, right? Yeah, we're going to talk about options. And some people are just vehemently like, they just get stubborn. I'm not comfortable with options. You don't have to be comfortable with them. Nobody's comfortable with them the first time they trade them, okay? Me, I didn't know any better, you know? I was 22 years old when I really, like, I had traded as a child, you know, for fun, but um, for fun, that's like, you know, a family uh, affair, but... <clears throat> I didn't really start trading until I was 22. And at 22, you know, I didn't know any different. I just started in options and, you know, uh, the higher the volatility, the better. It's always been that way for me. Um, but ultimate trades, which is exactly what we're going to discuss, are designed to sell options premium while reducing risk. So what is this, this term Ultima? Okay, because it's it's important, but what is that? Like when I'm when I'm mentioning, you know, Ultima, what is Ultima? Okay. It's the volatility, the volatility, the volatility. It has to do with changes in what we term skew. And you guys are actually gonna see some of this momentarily. I'm gonna show you how we uh, have obtained, if you will, edge in, uh, in trading. And that is going to involve, heavily involve uh, Ultima. So what we're gonna learn today is a little bit about selling options. Lots of people have heard this through the grapevine, all right? <clears throat> when I say lots of people have heard through the grapevine, they always hear like selling options. It might be a little mysterious when it when you first hear about it, but selling options usually is associated with like, hey, if you want to make some real money, you got to sell options, right? How many people though have done that? <clears throat> Come on, people admitting it's the first step today. How many people here have sold options? You just go to the webinar chat and just say yes or no. Y equals yes. N equals no. Hmm? So some people have experimented with selling options. Okay. <clears throat> And if you have experimented, if you have experimented, you're going to find out really quick, okay? You're like, oh, there's risk. What most people do when they sell options, what most people do when they sell options, they make a little money, they make a little money, they make a little money, and then they get spanked across the face. And they're like, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my synopsis of uh, of selling option premium. Make a little, make a little, make a little, get hit by a Mack truck. And you're like, what happened? 
to get the license plate of the train. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, first of all, how to keep, you know, some of the profitability of selling options. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do, and I'm emphatic about this as well, like, do not tell me you have to have a lot of money to be able to make money. Things have changed substantially. Okay. Have changed substantially. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to separate myth from real risk, fact from fiction. I'm going to discuss selling options, but more importantly and more appropriately, how to sell options effectively now, today's market. Not with the crap that worked 15 or 20 years ago. Okay. Things change in this business. And that's why we're going to discuss Ultima. Now don't panic. Okay. You can do this. There's some people that have no experience whatsoever in options. That's fine for today's session. Okay. I do not mind saying this though. If you're brand new, latch on to, to big concepts, big concepts, right? So if you know nothing about option, look to grab, you know, probability and risk. There's another side of this presentation. This, this presentation like starts, okay, at the basic kind of nuances and then works its way into some of the extreme. So I try to tailor this to both sides where I'm like, you know, a little here, a little there. Even those of you that have considerable experience, okay, no matter how experienced you are, look, the buck stops here. I've seen it all. Like you guys are, you're not going to throw any questions at me that I haven't heard before. So I spent 15 years in the brokerage business. Okay. I was in the market making world before that. And now I'm just on the education side. We launched Theo Trade in 2016. So we are seven years into purely the education side and we are of the regulated world. It's, it's lovely, but <clears throat> we're going to dive right in. One last concept that I want to just drive home to you. Do not tell me that you have to have a huge amount of money to be able to do this, okay? Accounts, $5,000 and under, okay, are absolutely ideal for this. In fact, okay, just to make a point, because I got so frustrated with people telling me, you can't do this with five grand. Look, you're looking at an account right now that has got positions in it, right? That is only tying up $2,800, okay, of margin. And uh, people, these are big positions. They're, they're, this is not, you know, this tiny little like nuanced position here. Uh, there's some three lots in here. I'll discuss this particular position as we go along today. But even with a $5,000 account, you do anything you want now. Let's dive right into it. So there's a lot of facets of selling premium, okay? There's a lot of facets of, of selling premium. And, uh, oh, people are asking about brokers and so forth. We can help you guys on that too. So when I talk about selling premium, selling premium means selling options. You can call it selling premium. You can call it credit spreads. People have heard of credit spreads. You go, I don't know what selling premium is, but I know what credit spreads are. The same thing, right? Credit spreads, bull call spreads, bear call spreads, bull put spreads, bear put spreads. There's iron condors. Hey, anybody ever heard of an iron condor? Um, Short call spread, short put spreads, delta neutral trading. Delta neutral can actually be sometimes construed as selling premium, selling naked. I'm naked. Uh, you can do this and sell premium and create bullish and bearish positions. Generally speaking, though, I'm going to use market neutral today. By the way, how our members are doing. You know, I grabbed this out of our chat room uh, literally the other day. Um, when I say the other day, I try to make everything as, as pertinent as comes on March 31st. The lessons I've learned here at Theotrade have enabled me to survive my impatience, okay? <laughs> 10 years ago, I would have been broke three times over. Okay, Sean, very nice. I agree, I've learned a ton of patience compared to uh, trading penny stocks years ago. Photo, I agree. Theo has totally changed my trading life, okay? Um, it's important. It's really important that I throw this stuff up there. I want you guys to see what other people are saying about you know Theo. Um, this comes in November. And the reason I brought this one up here comes from Jim it says, thanks to the quick uh, reply. I predominantly following your Ultima, which is what we're talking about today. Okay. Um, your great teacher as are the other Theo trade instructors. Okay. I trade with confident success this year. My account is up 30%. The reason I'm bringing this up, this was towards the end of last year. It's November of last year. S and P's at this point were down. Okay, over 20% year to date, this guy's actually up 30%. So I want you to know that directional bias is not going to make a difference. Okay, let's get down to business and let's start to discuss a little bit about trading. Look, probability and profitability. One of the first things I always say, it's like, a, just as like a marquee thing to say about the business, but your trading is based on probability, whether you know it or not. And the reason I always 
bring this up right up front, okay? People constantly, constantly get fixated on being right, okay, and being wrong. And that crap has got to stop. When I say right or wrong, <clears throat> they will literally, they will email us uh, here at Theo and they'll say, what's your track record, man? How often are you right? And I, I like, it's hard to have to go back into explanations and say like, look, who the hell cares? I could be right 90% of the time. That doesn't necessarily constitute making money. And the reason I'm bringing this to your attention is you're going to see some really high probability trades. Okay. I'm going to do stuff that you're going to make money like 90, 95% of the time. It's what happens though, that other five or 10% of the time. And again, I have no problem saying I am about to teach you trades. Okay. That will make money 90 to 95 percent of the time. It's what happens to the, the other 5k to 10 percent of the time that make all the difference, all the difference. Because I hear people like, well, if I could just be right 80 percent of the time, I'm like, this, this business is not about being right, right? The business okay, is about substantiating returns moving forward. I don't care what you think. It doesn't matter, right? Nothing matters except profitability over time, period. That's what you're in the business for. I don't care if you turn on CNBC, but the MACD and the Fibonacci, they, they point to, you know, oh, the earnings announcement, who cares? It's all for nothing. It's all just content for nothing. Look, markets are a trade-off. Markets are a trade-off. You know, higher probability, higher risk. You could be right 90% of the time. You can still lose money. You got to look to both sides of this. So where can you find edge? Because that's what we want to talk about. That's what people are here for, right? Because now we're going to start to actually teach you something very, very specific. Again, it's about edge. And when I say edge, statistically speaking, if I did this trade 100 times, would I make money? Let's show you something, okay? So I take you onto a distribution curve. And the reason I like to use uh, the same example again and again and again, if you, you know, you could have listened to something I've done 20 years ago, like literally 20 years ago, because I've been out, uh, I taught classes all around the world since about 2001. Hmm. And I do mean all around the world. I don't travel very much these days and I like it. <laughs> anyway, have you been out there these days? Okay, you don't want to travel much. <laughs> it's, it ain't what it used to be, I'll tell you that. All right, so as I get into this, I just want to bring up like, we're going to look at a stock and the stock's trading right at a hundred bucks. Okay. And I, I don't care. I always use a fictitious stock and I always call it stock. Okay. And stock is trading right at a hundred. Now, do I need to own stock right now? Okay. I don't. Is it okay to own stock? It is, but I don't need to own it. Not for this example. And that's important. So you have this hundred dollar stock that I do not own. And we're going to trade an option on it. What option are we going to trade on it? We're going to go out in this first example. Okay. And we're going to buy, whoops, buy a 100 call. Okay. I'm going to take that down here. So I'm going to buy a 100 call. And for that call, okay, I apologize. I'm actually going to make this the 120. I'm going to buy a 120 call. And for it, we're going to pay exactly a $1 debit. Okay. So buy a 120 call. It's going to cost me a dollar debit. Now the stock is trading at a hundred. I'm buying a 120 call. Now, some of you have absolutely no idea what I'm even talking about because you've had no experience with options. Okay. <clears throat> options are not that bad. And, and again, people try to make them far more complex than they need to be. And, you know, in the onset, when you learn about options, they're like, you got to learn this strategy and that strategy, you know, spreads and this. In the end, in the end, everything you do in this business can be broken down to one of two things. You can have a call option <clears throat> or a put option, period. In this first example, I'm only going to talk about a call option, okay? Like, <laughs> there's crazy numbers of strategies out there and options. Like, think about it. People are like, I'm doing a zero day expiration. I'm doing a Delta neutral zero day expiration with a side order of cheese. <clears throat> Before you know it, you feel like you're like ordering something like in and out burger off like, you know, the secret menu and that you haven't been told that there's animal sauce and animal fries. You have no idea what I'm talking about. I apologize because <clears throat> you're a Midwestern or an East Coast person. Nobody knows In-N-Out Burger. Oh man, you guys are disappointing me. But 
When you think about options, there's crazy number of strategies out there. But in the end, all of it's for nothing. Like it's a call and a put. And in this business, you can buy it or you can sell it. Remember, palms towards me, I'm a buyer. Palms towards you, I'm a seller. In this case, we're going to buy a 120 call. What's a 120 call give me the right to do? Well, first of all, buyers have rights, sellers have obligations. If I buy a 120 call, it gives me the right to buy the stock at 120. Do I want to buy the stock at 120? No. So why do I buy the stock at 120? You don't have to buy the stock at 120. I just said that. You're just buying a 120 call. And a 120 call gives me the right, but not the obligation to buy the stock at 120. Do I really want to buy the stock at 120? No, I just want to buy the call, try to make a couple bucks if the stock goes up. So how far does the stock have to go up? First of all, this 120 call, we're going to say it's good for three months. You're like, holy crap, that's a long time. Three months. It is a long time. You have three months, but that stock has to go like all the way up to what? 120. Now, I want you to think about this from a probability point of view. Let's, let's not talk about how much money you can make or lose yet. Let's just think about it from a probability point of view. Can the stock go up 20 bucks? Can it? Yes, of course it can. Okay. How big is that? It's a big move. It's like a 20% move, but a 20% move doesn't get it done. You don't need the stock going from 100 all the way to 120. <clears throat> you need the stock getting well above 120 to be able to make some money, right? You guys tell me. All right. What do you think the probability of making money on this is? Anybody? What's the probability of making money? I'm not asking how much money, just you know, ballpark me. What do you think the probability of the stock going up 20 bucks is in the next three months? Come on, people. There are some numbers in there. All right. It's a market. You're not going to hit it accurately. It's fine. I just want to know what you think. Okay. <clears throat> dead, dead silence. Okay. It's uh rhetorical questions. This is very, very rhetorical questions. So, <clears throat> by the way, somebody said it depends on volatility. Yeah, volatility is already packed in here. You know the debit, okay? What are the chances of getting up there? So I would say that the most, most effective answers in here, okay, low. It's a very low probability, incredibly, inherently low probability, okay? The best probability I give you of that trade, the best probability. Just looking at it in three months, you're less than 10%. It's a less than 10% chance okay, that we're going to substantiate real returns on this dollar debit. So the trade's a little bit on a wing and a prayer. Okay. Now, uh, if you look at this from a probability point of view, remember, trading's based on probability. When we talk about a 50-50, there's only a 50-50 chance where they're going to go above or below 100. And you go, what about my MACD, my Fibonacci, my Bo -Bo 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 Bollinger Band? Forget about all that for a second. Let's look at the purity of the marketplace. Let's say a 50-50 shot. There's a 50% chance we go down. There's a 50% chance we go up, but there's no 50% chance we're going to get all the way to 120. This has an inherently low probability, a very low probability. And as time wears on, the option that you bought is going to decay. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're actually going to show you the opposing side of this. <clears throat> Instead of going out and buying the 120 call, okay, this is going to be your first example. We're going to sell a 120 call. And for that, we're going to collect exactly, okay, a $1, it's what we term, credit. <clears throat> Let's put that down below. So we're going to sell the 120 call. We're going to collect a dollar credit. And we're going to sit there for the next, I'm going to torture you, three months. Okay, I love it. Now, immediately people look at this, they go, I don't like it. First of all, <clears throat> for those of you that are new, when you buy a 120 call, it gives you the right to buy the stock at 120. Do you have to buy the stock at 120? No, you don't. But if you're buying the 120 call, you want the stock to go up. If you're selling a 120 call, you want the stock to go where? Okay, flat or down. It doesn't necessarily have to go down, but if you're selling a 120 call, you go, go anywhere, but just don't go above 120. See, the key is over here, I'm selling a 120 call. And some people that are new to this, they don't even understand that in options, you can be a buyer or a seller. To open a contract, you could be a buyer or seller. Buyers, though, have rights. Sellers have obligations. Options they are contracts. It's contract. And in every single contract that you trade, right, you're either a buyer or a seller. And there's always going to be a buyer and seller on both sides. It's a contractual obligation. What's the contractual obligation? One person is going to be a buyer of the stock at 120. The other one's actually going to be officially what? 
Okay. If you sell a 120 call, you have to give somebody else what? The right to buy stock from you at 120. Do you own any stock? I do not own stock. This example, okay, right up front is what we term selling naked. I am actually selling the call naked. Now, time out. I don't want to go in here and have you guys construe that I'm trying to teach you to sell options naked. I'm not. I need you to understand, though, conceptually what's going on. I need you to understand conceptually that selling a 120 call, you collect a dollar for. Okay, that's it. That's all I want you to understand. And that selling a 120 call obligates you to give somebody stock at 120. Now, what can happen with the stock? The stock can stay flat. <clears throat> if the stock stays flat, do I make my dollar? Yes. If the stock goes down, do I make my dollar? Yes. If the stock goes up to let's get crazy, 110, do I make my dollar? Yes. If the stock goes to 120, what do you do? You wet yourself, but you still make a dollar. The only way you really start losing money is if the stock gets above 120. Now that's a 20% move just to start to what? Lose money. But if, if the stock jumped from 100 to 130, you're like, Bleh! you know, you're throwing up under the table over there. That's awesome. But if the stock goes to 130, somebody has the right to take stock from you at 120. But the stock's trading at 130, you're going to lose 10 bucks. Minus, of course, the dollar you collected, you're going to lose $9. That's horrendous. You could take a massive loss in here. But the key is this. Think about how high the probability Okay, of success is in this given trade. Okay. And again, one of the keys in here, think about how high the probability of success is in this trade. Right. Okay. Now, we okay so far? The other thing, though, is that little three month, people are looking at that and they're like, oh, no, oh, this is gross. I'm not going to hold a trade for three months to make a dollar. I like to make it like that. Okay, because it tortures people. They're like, seriously, man, you're teaching me to make a dollar over the next three months. Okay, I, 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 calm down. All I want you to under, understand is conceptually where we're going at. Okay, and what we're doing. See, the thing is, when most people get involved in this business, the first thing they do is, why would I sell options so far out in time? Maybe you noticed in my example, okay, I sold options a few months out in durations. Typically, Traders want to sell shorter duration stuff, but that's why you're actually tuning into this webcast. It's why, okay, we call this Ultima. It's why that Theo trade is really about criteria. When we execute trades, okay, we look at not the one trade. We look at a series of hundreds, if not thousands of occurrences, okay? And that is the differentiating factor. So when people think about you know, trading, they always think about this, the distribution curve, right? That, that decay is exponential. I shouldn't say distribution curve, but they think about the exponential decay of options. They're like, options decay like this. And you would be right. But this is what we term near money options. We're not trading near money options. We're trading way out of the money options. So stop everything. Let's back up for a second. Okay, let's back up. Let's come back right back to this curve. And instead of actually looking at the curve, let's go to look at a live trading application. This is Thinkorswim. By the way, people constantly ask me which brokerage firm I use. Okay, look, obviously I use this. People could do trade on it. I do trade on it. Okay, but I'm trading more and more now here at Tasty. Uh, and the reason is, Look, Charles Schwab owns TD right now. I don't want to go down the, the rabbit hole, but Tasty Trade in the next few years, it will be the most pivotal brokerage okay, out there. It's the only thing that's really going to be left for very active traders. Okay? And that's, that's the truth. Um, if you're going to be involved in this business and you're going to trade any options and stocks and futures and crypto, it's all going to trade here. And they, all, they trade all those products already. Um, I just, I tell people that. So I'll do my example though, over here on Thinkorswim, because most people are familiar with Thinkorswim. So let's go to a product called Spiders. How many people here are familiar with Spider? Hmm? You guys familiar with Spider? If you're not, you're probably hiding under a rock at some point, right? Spiders is probably the most prolific product in the entire industry. 
it's uh, it's known by you know every, pretty much everybody. And when I say the most prolific product, when you look at this, do you realize that 5.5 million option contracts have already traded on Spider today? 5.5 million. How many option contracts traded in the entire market yesterday? 38 million. Yesterday, the entire market, everything, traded 38 million. The spider was over 10 of those. Got to love that, right? Over a quarter, over one quarter goes to the spiders. And you know what? The SPX is always good for a few million self in a day. This is a slow day, but it's even good for, as I said, a few million. The whole market revolves around the S&P. The whole market revolves around the S&P. So I'm going to use the spiders. And in my example, in my aforementioned example, I used an option that was three months out in time. So I'm going to go 108 days out. And I'm going to give you an example because I want you to understand where edge lies, how we can make a little bit of money in here, okay? And how to get back and reduce risk. One of the most critical aspects that I can impart upon you is that we do not want to expose ourselves, okay? Uh, to substantial amounts of risk. We want to mitigate risk. That's control risk in every way, shape, or form. Okay. What you make is important. Of course, it's important. It's critically important. Okay. Even more important is keeping what you've made. Does that make sense? So we want to put you, we want to put you in a situation where you have the least amount of risk that you can actually generate and substantiate returns every single month. Now, in, initially, when I come out here and I talk about this, I go 108 days out, everybody immediately balks at that idea. They go, oh man, I don't want to wait 108 days. You're not going to have to wait 108 days. Okay. The average time of a trade held here is going to be just over, it's about 23 days. Is the average trade held here is about 23 days. So why am I using the 108 day options? Look, Okay. One thing I want to point out before I even show you the trade, one thing I want to point out, I don't care how you go from A to B to C. Okay. I don't care. I just care that you get there. Like, I don't care how you're going to substantiate gains. I just care that you get there and you do it safely. So what people very often do when they talk about options is they want to trade very short duration options. Hell no. Why? Those options are far too efficient. Every market-making firm in the world, every proprietary trading firm in the world is on them. Take a look at the volume. Look at these things, okay? Oh yeah, it's trading 200,000 contracts. There's no edge for you in that. It's trading 200,000 contracts, every single strike in here. It's ridiculous, okay? We're gonna go out further where you can actually substantiate gains, right? And not, and not take you know, egregious amounts of risk. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to give you a, a great example. I think it's a great example. Okay. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to sell an option. Okay. I'm going to sell an option. I'm actually going to write it right up to the top of the screen over here. We're going to go out and I'm going to sell right here. Let's sell a 21st of July 460 call. And we're going to sell it. Let's let's just mesh this to a dollar. See if we rally anymore. Let's just say that that trades for a dollar. Is it okay if I round it by two or three cents? Are we okay with that? In fact, okay, I'll tell you what I'll even do. Can I actually trade for a dollar? I don't know, but we're going to find out. It's not going to fill now, but it might fill later. So I'll trade that one for a dollar. So I just put in a sell order for a buck, right? Work it! So I'm going to try to sell that, that little monkey right there for about a dollar. Okay. So I sell this, let's say for a buck, then what do I do? Yeah, absolutely nothing. Don't worry about it. And people go, but that's selling naked. Look, I'm not here again to tell you to sell naked. That's not what I'm doing. We're going to talk about hedging in a few moments. But what I need you to first understand is conceptually, why are we selling an option 108 days out? Here's the thing that's going to shock you. There's a tremendous amount of decay of that option. See, people don't think they go, you sold something 108 days out. You're going to have to wait 108 days to make a buck. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm not going to make a buck. Okay. I'm going to try to make over 50% and I'm going to do it. Okay. In about a month. Look, 
I'm selling the 460 calls. Close up those Julys, okay? I am selling the 460s. It's right there, the 460s. I want you to look at this Okay, and like fast forward into the future. Let's fast forward about a month. What's about a month into the future? The 73 day options. What's the difference between 108 days and 73 days? Okay, what's the difference between 108 days and 73 days? What is that? It's 35 days, right? So 35 days from now, okay? Because you say there's no decay of these options. I argue not only is there great decay, it's phenomenal decay, and there's very little risk in doing it. So we're going to fast forward exactly 35 days. Okay, Let's go out to the 73-day options. And 73 days from now, what are the 460s? Now, this is assuming all factors being held equal. Volatility doesn't change, whatever. But I want you to see how much decay okay, is here. Let's look at those same 460s. There's the 460s. I have them highlighted. And exactly, in exactly a month, from now, it's 35 days. It's a little bit more than a month, but exactly. I can turn around and buy back those 21st of July options. I'm going to buy back that 460 call, and I'm probably going to pay. Let's call it because I rounded up there, so or uh, rounded uh, up a little earlier. Here, I'm going to round even up with uh, commissions and everything. Let's say I paid 45 cents for it. You do realize I'm substantiating returns okay, of over. It's greater than... 50% and I'm doing it in what? 35 days or less? How is that possible? Because people tell you that options don't decay very rapidly the further out you go in time. Those people don't understand Ultima. Ultima is actually a decay rate of volatility. The volatility skew is actually changing and it's dropping off and pulling apart. So in effect, you have actually great edge to sell options further out in time. You're not holding it more than 30 days. By the way, 35 days is not a great example because I wouldn't even hold it that long. All I'm trying to do is make over 50%, get in, get out, and get on with my life, okay? How many people would be okay making 50% in less than 30 days with an option that you're selling? It's the 460s. Look how far out those 460s. We're trading at 408 right now. 460s are the nosebleed seats. In fact, it's not even nosebleed seats. Uh, seats. You're in the parking lot tailgating, you can even see the game. We're that far out of the money. Okay. And we're, we're not holding this for 108 days. We're holding it basically for 30 days. So it doesn't matter that it's a 108 day option. Okay. We're holding this for basically 30 days to generate gains more than 50%. We get in, we get out. And then people go, what about margin? Don't even worry about margin. Got you taken care of. Margin is going to be nominal. You can do this trade. This trade can be done with a $2,000 account, not even a $5,000 account. That's an argument that comes up all the time is people look at this and they go, the margin is going to kill me. My brokerage firm won't let me do this. Okay, If it's a broker question or a margin issue, I got you covered on both. Okay, So I got you covered on both. And again, people are looking at the margin and they're looking at the wrong margin. They don't understand it yet and you will. All right, you will go, but the margin is, is 4,000. How about the margin? It's about, oh, it'll be about a thousand bucks for this trade. I'll just show you a better way to do it. That's the key, okay? Are you interested in making over 50% though in less than 30 days and being able to do it consistently? By the way, I also wanna show you guys like, look, I don't mind trying to sell this option. You can see I've already got positions on in here, okay? In fact, I'll cruise over to my Tasty account and Tasty account. I got positions. I'm short 10 lot here in the queues when it comes to the spiders. Okay, I'm short a 10 lot. I'm short a five lot. Okay, I am short all kinds of options in here, but I do have hedges on, right? Short a couple of these, couple of those, couple of these. I'm short all kinds of options. And the margin, the biggest margin you see in here is $25,000. These are huge trades. Okay, $25,000 a margin has big boy written all over it. That's, that's a much bigger trade. But the point of me taking you into this is for you to be able to understand and conceptualize. Let's go into the QQQ. Let's show you one more. Because again, everybody's still asking, why self options so far out in time? Okay, This whole theta thing is thrown out the window. right? We are doing this because it's what works. So let's cruise over once again to, uh, to the Thinkorswim platform and let's look at the QQQ. Let's do the exact same thing in the queues. Let's go 108 days out inside of the queues. 
Okay. The NASDAQ, it's easy, it's soft, it's gentle. Let's pick an option trading right around a dollar. These are the 375s. Look, I'm just going to sketch it very quickly because I want you to see this can be done time and again. So here, again, we're going to sell those July options. In this case, we're going to sell a 375 call and we're going to do it exactly at a dollar. Okay. And this is a market that it's 97 at a dollar. Okay. And I might be able to fill this one. So I sell this for a buck, then I wait, okay? Then I wait what? 35 days, let's just use that 35 day window again. Let's open up the 73 day expiration. Let's look at those 375s. 375, 375, 375, there it is. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, what are they trading at, okay? Trading at 38 cents. So I'd be able to buy this back. Let's even make it 40 cents. Let's say I bought it back for 40 cents. I'm still up over 60%. Okay, over 60% in 35 days. My average holding time is much less than 35 days. Look, I just want to substantiate getting in, getting out. And we haven't talked about how you're actually going to mitigate risk. We haven't talked about margin. We will talk about those. There's no question about it. People want to know about that. Are we good so far? Do we understand conceptually what we're doing? Okay, we're trading an option that's so far out of the money, it's in the nosebleed seats, right? And what we're doing is we're substantiating returns off of a very rapid volatility decay that's happening further out. That's actually what we term Ultima. We're able to basically bang out 50% returns after 50% move on, move on, move on. What's the name of the game with this? Okay. Now, I love to use like a little bit of an analogy. What I'm trying to teach you guys is it's not about putting on one trade. This is not about putting on one trade. If you can make Okay, 50%. And, and people look at this, all right? If you can make 50% in the next 30 days, what's the key then to doing it, right? Do more, right? Just do more, okay? How many people understand? How many people are good right now? Let's, let's just take a, a little bit of a litmus test of where we're at right now, make sure everybody's good to go. We okay? Okay, because we're going to talk about margin in a second. Because I want you guys to know that, you know, never let your brokerage firm, okay, diminish your capacity to trade. If you go to like, I'm not going to rip on too many firms here, but look, <clears throat> I don't have to. They suck. Most, most brokerage firms absolutely suck. I'm just going to throw that out there. I spent 15 years in the brokerage world. I have a right to say that, okay? They're absolutely terrible. They just want to take your money and sit on it and go like this. I'm not doing anything. Not doing anything with your money, okay? Except they're making money in your money. They just don't want you to do anything with your money. Why? Because they make more money now with you sitting in cash. You'll actually see more restrictions coming in from brokerage firms now more than ever. But what a lot of people don't know, they have dramatically changed the rules in the industry to actually make it easier for you, the retail client, to execute. Okay. What a lot of people don't even realize, you can do anything you want now, even in an IRA, right? Your retirement accounts, you can buy and sell any options you want. Before I get there, before I get there, again, the most important thing is we kind of conceptually understand where we're going with this. We understand that maybe selling options this far out in time, okay, is not necessarily a bad thing and that there is phenomenal amounts of decay. Now, in a moment, we're going to talk about risk. Before we get there, okay, one of the most important things is that when you look at my positions, ah, there's a lot of crap in here. When you look at the positions over here, look, I have okay, portfolios that I am putting on okay, that you can follow, right? So these, like when you see a ton of trades in here, it's, it's because there's a big portfolio in here and a little portfolio. This is a little portfolio. It eats very minimal amounts of margin. And there's a much bigger portfolio. And these are trades that our clientele here at TheoTrade can follow. That's what, when we start talking about Ultima, okay, and this, Entire presentation is called Ultima Alert. Well, these are the alerts. And it looks like a lot of positions in here, but it's really, this is just you know, right here. You're actually looking at five different portfolios in here because there's a big one, a small one, a big one, a small one. There's some different things going on inside of these accounts. You need only actually have one of them. And you determine if I have a $5,000 account, I can follow this one. If I have a $2,000 account, I can follow this one. If I have a $50,000 account, I can follow this particular portfolio. Capital is not going to be an issue. 
I'm going to say it again. Capital is not going to be at issue. When people say, I can't do the trade, I don't have that kind of money in my account, right? You can do the trade. And we're going to talk about that right now. So when I say you can do the trade, here is the MES. The MES is known as a micro. Now, a moment ago, I was talking about spiders and QQQ. And when we were in the spiders, what option did we sell in the spiders? Anybody remember? Okay. What strike did I use in the spiders? Oh, I know. I know. I know. I use the 460s. Okay. The 460s in the spiders would be the same thing. Okay. As the 4,600s in the S&Ps. So here's the S&Ps. This is the S&P futures. Okay. This is something I can go out and I can sell. And this one, okay, this one, now I already have margin tied up in this account. This one won't even tie up any more margin in my account. Okay. Let's go look at it in a different account. Change accounts. This is a SEP IRA. I can do this in my account. Okay. With nominal amounts of buying power in my IRA, in my, this is an IRA. In my IRA, if I did this trade, it will tie up $1,328. Says it right there. Okay. Right there. That's the BP effect. Now that's inside of an IRA. Okay. You could have a $5,000 IRA easily be able to do this trade. Let's go inside of a regular margin account. Okay. Individual margin account. If I did this in an individual margin account, it will tie up $665. That's right there. The buying power effect. Okay. Not bad, right? Because in even a $2,000 account, you could easily trade a few of those. In fact, this is selling a call. I could also sell a put and it would tie up zero additional margin. So you go, but that's done. That's not the spiders. No, it's the same product as the spiders, except it's called the MES, right? This is a new product, relatively new product. The MES only came out a few years ago. Most people have no idea it even exists, okay? The volume and the open interest in there, I wanna show you something, okay? When I talk about the different portfolios that we here at Theotrade Okay, get involved in. Let me clear something. Does everybody see this right here? Watch, I'm going to highlight this. Do you see that right there? It says minus one. You know what that means? It means I have a position there. Look at the open interest. Okay, who's doing a thousand contracts? <laughs> it's our clients. This is one of many portfolios that we sit into. Anything that I trade, anything that I trade, call, put, or otherwise, <laughs> is going to be heavy have the open interest. Oh, look, okay. I'm actually short right here. This is another portfolio, okay. I'm short right here, a two lot. Look at the open interest. It's good, right? All right. All I wanted to point out when we trade, so goes an alert, okay. An alert is what? It's when we actually fire out a text message <clears throat> to basically the entire community. Why do you only see a thousand in here? We presently have 6,000 people Okay, subscribed. Why was there only a thousand traded there? Because we have five portfolios just in here, and we intentionally hope that it spreads out some of the risk for us. Spreads out some of the risk because there's a concentration of liquidity. Otherwise, we'd be doing eight to ten thousand contracts a day. It would be phenomenal. Just to give you an idea, <clears throat> I traded a uh, stock earlier today. I'll just throw this up here. I traded Walmart earlier today show you some of the open interest in Walmart. Here's my position, okay? Here's my position in Walmart. And I wanna show you, and yeah, I brought up Thinkorswim again, but here's at Walmart. There's a trade, see the position buy, sell. Now, there's almost no open interest. That's because we traded it today. Watch what's gonna happen when you look at volume. <clears throat> we did 3000 contracts aside. Why? Because I sent out a text message. So this is, I'm actually trading, okay? You get the opportunity to trade with me. That's what Ultima Alert really amounts to. <clears throat> you can actually see the Walmart trades in here. It's already substantiating some degree of gains. Uh, gold is doing rather well, but at P&L, the portfolio, you can follow any number of portfolios over here. So number one, margin is not going to be an issue. Number two, when you go out and you start to learn these trades, okay? The key is this, do the trades sequentially with me, okay? Do the trades because it's not about one trade. What we're trying to do 
<clears throat> is we're trying to get you into the inventory management business. And we're gonna discuss just that here momentarily. We good? Everybody good. All right. So <clears throat> the big question that you have at this point, they go, looks pretty good. Okay, looks pretty good. I get it. People are trading the same stuff as you and you know it, the margin's not so bad. Again, don't ever let the margin or your account size influence you. Okay, then you're going to tell me your brokerage firm doesn't let you do that trade. Yeah, we'll get you approved to be able to do these trades. Okay, we're good at that. That's what we do. Again, most of us came from the Thinkorswim TD Ameritrade background, right? We know everybody from E-Trade. By the way, we have marketing partnerships with E-Trade, Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, okay? Obviously, Tasty Trade. We work with Tradier. Okay, I'm trying to think. We work with Magnify, which is a registered investment advisory firm. Everybody works with Theo Trade. There's not any other. We work with uh, another company, which is on the future side, which is Ninja. For those of you who don't know Ninja, we work with them all. No other education firm in this industry has more marketing partners okay, than Theo Trade because we cover that much spectrum of trade, okay? And well, we have that many clients as well. So uh, one of the things I want to impart upon you right now though, okay, and you're probably thinking to yourself, well, that's great when the trade works, but what, when the, when, what happens when the trade goes against you, right? Like sooner or later, you're going to be doing one of these trades, okay? And what's going to happen is we're going to make money, make money, make money. And people have had this happen already, right? So let's let's just bring it up. Okay. If I sell an option way out here, or for instance, way out here, you know, you make money, you make money, you make money, you make money, but eventually all of a sudden the market goes boom, and you just get killed and it's a hundred percent loss and you're puking all over the place. What are you going to do when it goes against you? Because this is the area that people have had like 90% probability sounds great. We're doing trades actually that over a 95% probability of success. Okay. But when you're wrong, you can get hammered. Okay. And what happens to a lot of people, and again, I want to draw this up here again, because I think it's so important. What happens to so many people in this industry is they get lured into the wrong types of trades. How many people here, and I'm, I'm being honest, like you guys answer in chat, how many people here have learned and traded iron condors? Hmm? How many people? Come on, come on. How many people have traded iron condors? The iron condor, for those of you that don't know this, what they do is they teach you to sell a call. Then you turn around and buy a call to hedge the call you sold. Okay. Oh! My pen's gone crazy. Then you're going to turn around and you're going to sell a put. Then you're going to buy a put to hedge the one you sold off. Okay. This is the way that people get annihilated in this business. So what they do is they sell a call and sell a put, then buy a put, buy a call. Right. As I told you, they call this the iron condor. Look, iron. Condor is the greatest trade. It's an iron condor. Yes, it's a very large winged bird. Okay. So how do you make money in an iron condor? If we go up, you get killed. If we go down, you get killed. You make money anywhere inside of the happy place. Okay. And the happy place could even be an 80, 90% probability. Now, this is a rudimentary form of risk management. What happens to everybody in this trade? And just listen very carefully because... When I talk about stuff like the iron condor, like you got to understand the buck stops here. Okay. The buck stops here. I was on the brokerage side for 15 years. You think I don't know the stories of iron condors? Okay. There's nothing that you're going to tell me that's going to shock me. We at Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade, okay, studied everything that you've ever done. Okay. You are a retail client. Okay. You are like, let me say this in the nicest possible way. You see Thinkorswim? How many people here have ever traded on Thinkorswim? Okay. <clears throat> How many people here have ever traded on Thinkorswim? Okay. I'm just kind of curious. So you have, you're like, you're like the most studied animal in the zoo. <laughs> okay. Sorry to put it that way, but we got it down to the point where we knew like how many mouse clicks you're going to make in a given day. That's how finite. All right we can see on the back end of Thinkorswim. You can see everything everybody ever did on the back end of Thinkorswim. We knew all your trades. We knew if you're doing iron condors, the probability of success, if you traded futures contracts. People, we could tell you if you left your mouse, okay, and then came back to it 90 seconds later, we're like, that person went to the bathroom. They went to the bathroom and now they're back again. Okay, it's, it's amazing what you can learn 
by looking at the data on the back end of a brokerage platform. Okay, you think I haven't seen Iron Condor? Again, the buck stops here, we've seen everything. This is the plight of the Iron Condor trader. Somebody learns an Iron Condor, they go out, they take a class, they learn to do the Iron Condor for 500 bucks, right? And they usually trade it the first time through in a product like Spy. So they go to the spiders and they trade one contract, okay? And it's, uh, it's a success, they make money, right? So check, they make money in the very first month. That's month number one, okay? In month number two, they go into the same spiders, okay? They go into the spy, but they don't do one contract and they do five contracts and they make money. You're, yeah, I made money. I made money two months in a row. By the third month, okay? In month number three, they're no longer trading the spiders. Now they're actually moving to a product called the SPX because the SPX is known as the mother of all products and they make money. Now, by the third month, you've made money three months in a row and you've never really made a lot of money in this business before. So by month number three of making money and you're completely and totally unscathed, you're like, I'm the smartest man alive. This is the greatest thing. It never reasoned, okay? It never like really, I guess, swirled around that you were doing a trade that probably had upwards of a 90% probability of making one penny or more. So you're doing the trade, it has a 90% chance and you're, you're shocked you actually made money three months. But in the month, you're like, I'm so damn good. By the way, the SPX is exactly 10 times the size of the spider. A month number four, you're so damn good that you go into the SPX and you route a 10 lot. And the moment you route a 10 lot, it's like the market literally screams, we got one. And what happens? Oh yeah, you think I haven't seen this movie before. Okay, I'll tell you exactly what happens, how the story ends. The S&Ps, have a wicked and rapid sell-off, come under your iron condor, not only do they wipe out the profitability of the previous three months, but it also takes with it 50% plus of your entire account, okay? It is absolutely infuriating to see it. There's no expected return out of this trade. And people are like, oh, it's, the markets are evil. They just kind of lure you in like, come on, little more, little more, little more contract says, oh, what? Oh, come on, come on, SPX, yeah, SPX, do it, do it, do it. And all of a sudden, bam, it's a trade wreck and your losses exceed the gains and it's a disaster. And, and people usually, when they hear this example, they go, oh, it's like this guy can see my account. Of course I can see your account. For 15 years, I can see your account, okay? I've seen this movie so many times. By the way, after all of this, does that sound like anybody? Anybody ever experienced that? Come on, this is Trader Confessions. Confessions of I screwed up as a trader. <clears throat> Nobody ever wants to admit anything like that. Okay. Admitting it's the first step. By the way, I, I got to tell you, on a personal level, I enjoy talking about the screw ups much more than the profitability. The profitability should come. Okay. That should be the boring part of trade. It's the screw ups that really, okay, those are the much more exciting stories. And again, there's nothing that I haven't seen. Right. I've actually seen accounts where I had to make phone calls. I'm like, yeah, so you're down 10 million today and you're starting to make us a little nervous. Do you have any clue what you're doing? It'd be like, oh yeah, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good. And I'm like, I'm not good. <laughs> By the way, after doing this, you made money those three months. And that's the thing that always sticks in your head. You go, I must've done something wrong. So you actually go and you take another course for another 500 bucks to learn how to fix it. By the way, I hate the term fix, hate it, okay? So <clears throat> I'm totally a cynic regarding fixing. Anytime you're trying to fix a trade, how do you fix a trade? You have to put more capital, into an already crappy trade and put more risk and more commissions into an already crappy trade. Somebody goes, commissions are free. I'm like, I don't really give a crap. Fixing is just get out a shovel and just keep on digging. Okay, there's no way to fix a trade without putting more risk. It's impossible to put okay, a fix in place without risking more capital. And somebody goes, well, I don't fix trades. I morph it. Okay. Oh, morphing. So morphing is another word for fix. I call it an amalgamation of crap because it's just throwing more good capital after bad. Look, you got to throw stuff out like it's yesterday's trash. If you drove a car off of a cliff, would you bring it to a body shop? Of course not. You go, that thing's totaled. It's a piece of crap. Let it go. We got to teach you to do this the right way. Okay. What you're going to learn okay, here at Theotrade, Ultima and Ultima Alerts, it's an inventory management business. And I love to use this as an explanation, okay? In my hand, you guys ever see one of these little fidget spinners? So I have three kids, <laughs> there's crap like this all over the place. And these fidget spinners, they're all over my desk, 
Okay. And they're all over my desk because I keep stealing them from my children because they're quite amusing to play with, especially when you're ADHD and you are a trader. You just sit here and like spin the fidget spinner all day long. Okay. Drives people completely nuts, but I'm good with it. Fidget spinner. Okay. You can buy one of these probably on Amazon for, I don't know, let's say a dollar. But <clears throat> let's say for argument's sake, I could go out into the world. I could go out into the world and I can sell these fidget spinners, okay, for two bucks, okay? And then I can turn around and I can buy them somewhere else for a dollar. So I can make about 50%. Then what's the key to being profitable in fidget spinners, right? All right, hmm? anybody. What is the key to being profitable in fidget spinners? So you're in the fidget spinner business, right? And you're a buyer and seller. Okay, what you basically have to do, and people never like think about this, trading is a business, right? <clears throat> if you want your business to be successful, you should probably treat it to some degree like a business. And what they think about is like just the next trade. I need to do a trade on Apple. I need to do a trade on Microsoft. I need to do a trade here. I need to do a trade there. I need to do a trade on Tesla. Okay, it's freaking ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. This business trading is about inventory management. It's always been about inventory management, but that's not the way that it's portrayed on CNBC. Why? Because that crap doesn't sell. It just doesn't sell. Like nobody's gonna sit there, okay, and watch Steve Leisman on CNBC all day talk about inventory management. It just, it ain't cool. Instead they go, what do you think about Microsoft? What do you think about ChatGPT? ChatGPT says CNBC sucks. I know it doesn't say anything negative, but if it could say something negative, it would say that that show sucks. And it's not their fault. It's what sells. It's what sells advertising, right? In the end, it's inventory management business. If you could sell this little monkey right here, this fidget spinner for $2, you could turn around and buy it back for a buck, okay? The whole key is volume. Then you'd probably have to hire a couple people. You'd have to buy insurance, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. A lot of crap involved with being in the fidget spinner business. Okay. The bottom line is we're going to make you into the inventory management business. What I want to, I guess, impart upon you, we're going to go out, okay, and we're going to sell options on both sides of the marketplace. For instance, we're going to sell, what was that, those 460s? Sell the 460. If you rallied up even more, we'd sell like the 465s. You rally a little more, okay, we'd be selling like the 470s. For this one, we collect a dollar. I don't know, collect a dollar, collect a dollar. Simultaneously, we would actually be selling some puts. The market's at 408. Be selling like 350 puts. By the way, puts trading for twice as much. So I'd probably collect two bucks. You know, you're selling, for instance, the 340 puts, collecting $2. You know, before you know it, you're selling like the 320 puts because we sell off, collect $2. All I want to do is just portray this. I've sold inventory now on both sides. My fingers are the inventory. Okay. You sold inventory and here's the spider, right? And the spider is trading right at, what is it, about 408? So <clears throat> that's your inventory. But what's the problem with this? And it, this is a problem. Like I'm not gonna sugarcoat, there's a problem here. And I'm gonna tell you what the problem is here, okay? This is your inventory, this is your inventory. Sooner or later, you're gonna make a just a wicked move, okay? You're thinking it's higher, but a lot of the times it's lower. We're just gonna make the most violent, horrendous move boom, down, these options are going to get annihilated. And that's what happens to people is, you know, in premium selling, you make money, make money, make money, make money. Damn, just get hit by a Mack truck. I didn't even see it. If you want to survive and you want to sell premium, okay, Ultima is not just about selling premium. Ultima is a system of alerts. We use hedges. What is a hedge? A hedge is a sacrificial lamb. Like, look, if you're in the fidget spinner business, sooner or later, if your business gets big enough, okay, you're going to have to probably buy some type of insurance for the fidget spinner business. Okay, it, it might sound kind of ridiculous, but you can't have any business these days without incorporating. It's overhead. It's you know you got to bring in people. I'm not asking you to do any of that, but I am asking you to understand. Okay, in this business, you're going to have to have a sacrificial lamb. Your sacrificial lamb is known as your hedge. Okay. With it, you'll survive. Without it, you're never going to survive. You just will not be able to survive in the world that we presently live in. Okay, We are going to use definitive 
hedges. What are hedges? And I say, enter, okay, the hedges, all right? There are predominantly three types of hedges, and I'm just going to put them up here. One of them is an RTS, okay? It stands for risk twist spread. Number two, okay, number two is a VIX vol spread. That's the one I'm going to use in the explanation. And number three is a gamma iron, okay? There are other types of hedges and other types of hedges we use. But when I say a hedge, and, and again, I don't want to sugarcoat this and I don't want to you know, put this in any uncertain terms. By the way, I'm going to stand up over here. So the sit-stand desk, okay? All right, now, now I'm getting serious, okay? He has stood up, he's getting serious. <clears throat> when you are looking, at these trades, you're going to have to have some type of a, I call it a sacrificial lamb. It's going to be a very, very small trade. And you're going to pay for that small trade. And that, you know, you're going out there and you're paying for the trade. And it, you know, most of the time it doesn't do anything, but it's like, you got to like, understand if you lived on an Island that had a volcano every like couple of months, you walk up there and you're like, eh, you throw the lamb in the volcano you go volcanoes happy. It ate a lamb. <laughs> You have to do that in this business. You have to, okay? You know, if you're in any type of other business, you have unemployment insurance, you have every type of insurance imaginable. Well, in trading, okay, you're going to need a hedge. It's a risk reduction metric. Now, the hedge I'm going to teach in this inventory, okay, is going to be laid right here, okay? And we're going to call this a VIX vol spread. Okay. What's the VIX? The VIX is the S&P 500 volatility index. What's a VIX vol spread? A VIX vol spread is a very minute trade. It's very, rather inexpensive. But I want you to think to yourself with this. If the market crashes, I mean tanks, where's the VIX go? When the market goes down, the VIX inherently goes where? Up. Okay. There's an inverse relationship. So you can buy a very inexpensive hedge in VIX, because if the market crashes, your positions are not going to die. Now, let's put in the inventory, okay? Here is going to be the inventory. The SPY is trading right at 408. I'm going to go out and I'm going to sell, for instance, the 460 call, collect a buck, okay? I'm going to sell, for instance, the 470 call, collect a buck. I'll even eventually sell 480 call, collect a buck. Simultaneously, you might be selling puts. I'll be selling like 350 put, collect $2. Sell the 340 put, collect two bucks. Sell the 330 put, collect two bucks. And we can show you the puts are going to trade for double the calls. My hedge is currently in place. Okay. This one's just to the downside. But what I've basically got is I've got six pieces of inventory right now. I've got six pieces of inventory and a VIX volatility spread. The most essential thing to understand okay, about Ultima, we're not out there and ever going to ask you like, oh, selling options premium naked. You can't survive because when the big move comes, and it will come, it doesn't matter if it's every 18 months, it doesn't matter if it's every 18 years. When the big move comes, if you don't have okay, your little atomic bomb sitting there, okay, you're going to be toast. And what the VIX fall spread is, I'm going to show you exactly what it is. When this marketplace starts to tear to the downside, and it's going to happen at a time when you could least expect it. People always ask me, when do you put the hedges on? You always have the hedges on. It's ridiculous not to. When this market starts to tear to the downside, okay, that little VIX is going to explode in value. And it just like, boom, opens up a parachute and gives you an out for all these positions down here. Okay, It's a risk reduction system to where all of a sudden, boom, it provides you like a little umbrella. You either can get out of positions or sustain the positions, meaning that you'll have a decision to make if the market crashes. Do I hold these or do we get out of them? Because this VIX fall spread is covering me right now. And you say, well, what about the risk to the upside? To the upside, we actually use a trade called a gamma iron. We actually have to pass through a profitable trade for you to actually take a loss on those. Okay, It's a method of like, you can see the market's going to come and punch you 
But before it can hit you, it's slowed. It's slowed by your hedges. Do the hedges reduce everything? Absolutely not. But the hedges are absolutely essential to your survival in this. People, this, this is trading. Okay, this is trading. And if you're looking at this right now, you're thinking like, oh man, you're selling this and selling this and selling this. Okay. You realize that you could just follow a couple of text messages and that's it. And it all just breaks down to it. Look, this is why you want to sell premium. You can do this in small accounts now. You can actually have a $2,000 account. Now it is, okay. This is not my rule, okay. But it is required by the brokerage firms. You have to have $5,000 to do this in an IRA. You can absolutely unequivocally, you can even sell naked calls now in an IRA. You go, my IRA doesn't allow that. Sucks for you because you can do it. Because all I have to do is show you right now at my Tasty account, okay? I'll cruise over to my IRA. This is an IRA, okay? And look, in the IRA, oh, look at that. There's a thousand lot trading in my IRA, okay? Why? Oh, because you can do whatever you want now. Produces positive, like decay. You can enhance existing positions, meaning you don't even have to do this autonomously. You can actually do this against. Provides an incredibly high probability of success. You never have to buy the stock. And you could be wrong on market direction. Be absolutely wrong on market direction. That doesn't impede upon our ability to be able to make money, okay? Right? <clears throat> Look, you need this in your life. There's one thing, and I'm not here to scare you, okay? It's one thing I'm going to tell you. I do not know what this is going to look like a year from now, two years from now, or five years from now. But I can tell you one thing without unequivocation, okay? We are going to be heavy, heavy volatility. Those interest rates, okay, they're not going back down to zero unless the marketplace absolutely implodes, unless the economy completely falls apart, you're not getting rates back down to zero. You're not going to get a wildly bullish market. Nobody ever wants to listen to that because the last three weeks, the markets have been straight up. Yeah. Until today, until today. And all of a sudden everybody's like, oh, I'm getting a little bit, I'm getting a little nervous again. Okay. It's just, it's a marketplace of chaos right now. It's volatility. You need this in your life. Look, selling premium could potentially bring in consistent returns while minimizing risk. I want to learn to do this. We're going to discuss criteria. Before I discuss criteria, though, I'm going to give you live trading examples. Okay. When I say live trading examples, look, variations of everything you're about to see, everything I'm showing you right now, these are the alerts being sent to our clientele. Variations of all the following trades can be done with as little as $2,000 in a funded account. Everything I'm about to show you has been sent to clientele, all right, via a text alert, or we also do push notification on the device of your choice, all right? When I say push notification, Theo Trade has their own application in, okay, the stores, in the app stores. So whatever, you're a Google person, you're, you know, an Apple person, whatever, it's in the store, we have our own app. Okay, and that app actually does push notification. So all of the following trades. Look, I'm just going to run through about 18 months of results. And I'm going to show you some of the live results. These are trade alerts. This is in Tesla. And I just want to show you where this comes from and what I'm actually doing here. Look, this is the opening trade, the closing trade. This is all the way back to 2021. As I said, I'm going to show you 18 months. And what happened after 18 months? What happened after 18 months is I got like really bored of actually pasting. These are cut and pasted, okay? If you look at this, where does that come from, okay? That comes from right here in the account statement, okay? To open, to close, to open, to close. Look, to open, to open, to open, to close, to close, to close, to close, to close, to open, to open, to open, to open, to open, to close, to close, okay? You can see every trade I've done. It's a little confusing though to follow what I've done here in Thinkorswim. It's a little easier when I actually take it and copy and pasted it into a slide, right? This is the opening date, the closing date. Let me actually make this even easier to see, right? This is to open, to close, what product it is, the expiration, the strike that I'm trading, a call or put, there's an opening price and closing price and the total return, okay? So I'm just gonna run through a couple of these. This is a bond short put. Now, every trade that I'm showing you, this began in January of 2021. This is when we officially went live with what we term the Ultima portfolio. This is the Ultima alerts, right? This is the Ultima portfolio, 58% return, bond short put. People go, I've never traded bonds in my life. What's the difference? Okay, just follow the trade, right? Follow the trade. 
selling a 161 put. That's crazy. That's 161. If you haven't looked at the bonds lately, bonds are a little lower than that now. Okay. But this is 2021. It's before we got, uh, you know, Jerome Powell, 57% return. Okay. Another bond short put 57% return. Another bond short put 53% return. IWM 62% return. Okay. Uh, IWM 53% return. By the way, that little dinging was a fill that I just got in the background. Okay. Tesla, 76% return. SPY, 60% return, 50% return, 51, 57, 59. Okay, SPY, QQQ, 62%, 53%. Now, the more experience that you get, and I'm just running through here and a couple of different trades, the more experience you get, okay, we'll start to actually scale up. Look, IWM, 19% loss. This is everything. It's no holds barred. As I said, we will show you every single position that we do. As you start to get used to this, right? You notice anything interesting here? First of all, the returns are almost always right around 50%. Number two is I don't trade really anything too different. Like people try to make this difficult. IWM, IWM. When you get experienced, you trade bigger products. What's a bigger product? Mo. Okay, no. What's a bigger product in here? You'll start to see some S&Ps, right? We're just running through. So we're already in May. This is just May of 2021. Okay, this is an ES short put. Now the ES is exactly five times the size of a spider. This is a big boy product. Okay, so this is big boy. Now you're making 50%, but these trades, okay, are for instead of like, you know, 100 bucks here, 200 bucks here, you know, 50 bucks there, 50 bucks there. These trades now are getting into the thousands of dollars. So the ES short put, big boy trade. Now everything here, ES short put, ES short put, Qs, ES, ES, short call, short call. On short calls, spiders, bonds. After you understand a bit more, okay, about the strategy, we'll start to ramp up and give you things like Christmas trees. Christmas trees are ratios with hedges in them. Okay, huge returns, 85% return off of a $21 credit. Okay, it's huge, right? TLT, ES, ES, SPY, ES. Everything centers around the ES, the QQQ, another Christmas tree spread with a 92% return. Again, I'm showing you every trade, every trade that was texted out in the Theo Theta large portfolio, okay, for a period of 18 months. Here we are into 2022, right? I've gone through, look, this is a SPY Christmas tree. This one is actually done for almost a $14 credit. It made $4,000 of profit on one unit, one unit of the trade. It's a little bit of a complex trade, but you can follow me into anything in here. ES, short call, 50%, 50%, 55%, okay, 50%, all right? Now, as we continue on over here, you're going to see, again, another uh, Christmas tree trade for $1,000 profit in one unit, a bond short put, 50%, 62%, 52%, okay? We're almost to the end of 18 months. Look, and people always say, well, what happened to you after 18 months? I'll tell you what happened. I got really sick of copy and pasting that one, okay? And what I did is I'll just let you see the actual portfolio. This is, okay, this is the Theo, whoops, Theo Theta portfolio. Don't, oh, okay. This is the Theo Theta portfolio. And the Theo Theta portfolio, okay, the ultimate Theo Theta portfolio, these are all the opening trades to open, to open, to open, to open, okay? And then down below are all the closed trades. So you can see what's the date today? Right here, it's 4-4, four, four, right? Today's April 4th. Oh, it looks like I actually closed something, right? I closed 3225 puts. When were those even opened? I need only come back over here. There they are, 3225 puts. I opened them on what? March 9th. They've been closed on April what? April 4th. How much? Okay. Well, they were closed for a 50% credit. And again, you can see the trade. Literally, if you look at my activity, you can see the trade in the execution today. Every execution Okay, is is going to be on here. There's the execution of the 3225 puts bought back for 950. You can see all the Walmart trades that I did. Uh, you can see I just apparently sold a spy call as well. That was the one I was playing around with a little while ago. When we were talking about uh, selling a spy call. Okay, got a trade on gold here that I'm just resting out in the book. Everything. Okay, this is no holds barred approach to it. So we not only let you see the portfolio for the 18 months. Okay, on the site portfolio is you know, since inception. I mean, every single trade that we've done, okay, it's not going to be 
an overwhelming number of trades. Like, look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, seven, eight, nine, like there's 10 trades thus far this year. It's all we need. We don't need more than that because most of these are going out there and selling both sides of the marketplace, right? It's not going to be an overabundance of trades. And all you have to do Okay, is hop on here. You just opt into it and we start sending you trades. When I say opt into it, you literally put your email address in here. Okay. And boom, it starts sending you text messages and or push notifications. Look, if you don't have a lot of time to be able to do this, it's not a huge problem. Okay. As I said, there's only been 10 trades in this portfolio. You don't need okay, an inventory that's going to be massive and hundreds of different strikes. Look, we're only entering into April. Right. And I've opened and closed basically that 10 trades over there. Selling premium is extremely hands off. You can even use good till canceled orders. That's called set and forget. Good till canceled means you sell something for $10. And when it becomes a 50% gain, automatically buys it back. Even a fraction of your time is enough to see good results. And Theo Trade is now providing real time trade alerts. One of the biggest differentiating factors that you're seeing. If you've attended a presentation here at Theotrade any time in the past, okay, we talked about classes educating you, okay, right? We've actually very much switched gears here. And what we're doing is, yes, we provide you the education. Yes, you can learn how to do this, but immediately, okay, we send you alerts now. This is something we've never done before. We're sending you alerts now in real time because we recognize the volatility of the marketplace is such that you don't have the time to get ramped up. You don't have the time to sit there and watch, you know, seven to 10 hours of classes. You absolutely, I want each and every one of you to watch the classes, but you got to get involved immediately, okay, and understand the volatility rip you apart, okay, if you don't actually follow some of the trades that we're ripping, you know, that are, are running by here. Look, there's a great time to do it. Maybe you have limited time to learn a new skill set. As I said, real-time trade alerts, premium selling is also, it's a wonderful hedge for recessionary times. Markets could be in bouts of volatility, maybe for years. That's the unknown, okay? The one thing I'll tell you is people always ask me, when do you think the volatility is going to end, okay? Well, the volatility will probably end when the Fed is forced to bring rates back down to zero. That is going to be a horrendous day because what's the only thing that's going to force the Fed back to zero interest rates, okay, is a crushing, crushing move in the entire economy down, right? Again, what our members are saying, wow, uh, I want to say thank you for what you've taught me in the last two and a half years. I bought into what you taught about risk twist spreads, duration positions, started to trade options almost a year ago. I missed out on the last market move up. My IRA is up 14.8% for the year. The reason I threw this one in here, okay, this one, right, fairly recent email, but uh, being up 14% in a year, that's this is a challenging year too, right? It's phenomenal. Look, characteristics. First of all, you never have to buy or sell stock. We're not asking you to do that. Risk, you can actually fine tune your risk here at Theotrade to your comfort level. How much hedge do you want? That's the big question. How much hedge okay, do you want? We're never going to use a stop order, so don't even consider it. People go, I don't need a hedge. I'll use a stop order. Okay, can't use stop orders. You will not survive. Why? Markets are going to move overnight. And you're going to sell something, and all of a sudden, the market could crash overnight. Like, did you see the OPEC you know, cut coming? The OPEC you know, cut, they cut over a million barrels of oil. Oil shot through the roof the other day. Like stuff unforeseen like that is going to happen, right? It's just going to happen. So you can't use a stop order in here because by the time the market reopens, the oil jumped by five bucks the other day. You get torn apart. That could have been the S&Ps dropping, you know, three, 400 points. You can vary time frame, minimize risk. Probability of profitability is extraordinarily high. Look, okay, 90 plus percent of the time, you're not going to do anything with the position. You're going to open it. You're going to close it. You're going to open it. You're going to close it. Okay. That's one of the reasons I'm very comfortable sending out alerts so that basically you're watching the classes and learning how to do it while we're actually kind of feeding you. I want people to say like, hey, okay, feed me more. And I'm like, look, you watch the class. You can put on as many positions as you want. Like you got to understand the nuts and bolts behind it. Okay. But it's a way to get you started immediately. This is an excellent tool. Okay. For those seeking to build returns on a smaller account. It's also a perfect strategy to enhance one's stock position. And okay, the one thing I, I, I've constantly reiterated today is that any account size, I don't care what your account size is, do not let 
a $2,000 account influence you? As I said to you guys earlier, okay, I'm actually doing this. I'll even pop into one of the accounts. There's a $5,000 account over here. Look at all the positions I have on. I have three lot here, three lot here. This is a $5,000 account. Okay. It's a $5,000 account. And the reason I did it, I was just going nuts. People are like, you can't do this in your account. You whatever the hell I want. That's a three lot and a three lot. It's not that small of a trade. Then I have a Bank of America spread in here, a Tesla spread in here, XHB spread in here. Okay. And this is all inside of a $5,000 account. Okay. And yeah, the PL over here since the open of this little position is only a hundred bucks. What do you think? It's, it's a $5,000 account. I'm just going to pick them off for nickels and dimes, and nickels and dimes, and nickels and dimes. Okay. That crap adds up. It absolutely adds up. Okay. That's just the beginning of this position. So what if it's up a hundred bucks? Okay. Look, okay. That's, hey, you got to learn how to do this. And these are trades that we're sending out, you know, to the masses. Look, building a portfolio of options. Don't let the options portion of it intimidate you. We'll get you ramped up. In fact, when I say don't let it intimidate you, this is a start here menu. If you knew nothing about options, where are you going to start? Well, we built that. It's called start here. This is Theotrade, right? This is Theotrade. When I say start here, options 101, okay? Part one, two, three, four, part five, options 201, okay? And no matter how experienced you are, everybody could use a refresh. You come in here and you go, what does that look like? And what does it look like when you click on this? Well, it actually takes you into a session. It's all the way back to 2016. Believe me, Options 101 hasn't changed. We actually come in here, right? And it gives you what you're doing in terms of a marketplace like you've never traded before because the assumption is you have it, right? So let the alerts do the work for you okay? while you're learning. Selling premium can be done for minimal credits, minimal risk initially. You don't have to come in here big. You can sell premium all day long, but you're going to need the strategies for the foreseeable market future. Just don't let that options intimidate you. Look, options, options are like power tools in the market. Like, you know, you know, if you grabbed a huge power saw for the first time, you realize the dangers of the saw. Okay. As long as you put on some safety goggles and you watch your fingers, they're going to be just fine. And the saw is going to work beautifully, right? Options, though, can be the exact same thing. Options will be the quickest, the fastest, the safest, the easiest way to get where you want to go in the stock market, but you still have to know how to utilize them correctly, okay? Again, we can show you how and when to sell premium in just a couple of hours. More importantly, though, we're now giving you real-time alerts. We want you guys to be prepared for whatever's coming, and I don't want to sit here and preach to you about volatility. You need only look at the market. When I say look at the market, I'm actually pointing to a screen. Look, you need only look at this marketplace. This is today. It doesn't look like much, okay? It doesn't look like much today. When you start opening it up, though, in a 30-day, one hour, okay, you're like, oh, crap. I see what he's talking about. Look, all we're doing right now, oh, I've seen this movie before, okay? Is everybody back in the market? Good, let's sell off. Look, you got to forget about what you think. Don't think, okay? Just know. Just know that you're going to be able to sell premium and manage risk. Look, this is what you need to successfully sell Ultima Premium for a living. You gotta know what underlyings or indices are gonna make the best candidates, okay? We help you do that. Obviously, we only trade a handful of candidates, okay? What volatility should I seek out? You know, the volatility that you seek out is critical. The options expiration do you select? Like these are all these variables. When I talk about criteria, if you looked at like the S&P options, look how many expirations there are. I'm still scrolling, okay? Why did I sell options 100 days out? Why did I buy them back? At what price do I buy them back? You know, what options expiration do I select? What should be the delta of the option I sell? What should be the options I buy? That's the hedge. How many hedges do I use? How do I build the position? Do I need a large amount of capital in my account? No. What's the right amount of risk for me? Okay. What are the percentage returns supposed to be? How do I protect myself from market crashes when selling options? Let me show you exactly what we do here at Theotrade. Theotrade creates recipes in trading. And now real-time alerts when trading opportunities arise, okay? Trading, it's always about answering the what-ifs, like what might be a good ETF candidate, the correct options expiration, how much capital do I commit, strike options, do I sell, what do I buy, how do I limit my risk? We have the answers, okay, to those questions. And we have trade alerts. So we build these recipes with definitive criteria. Checklist. And when we talk about checklist, it's like a pre-flight checklist. The same idea as if you hopped into the cockpit of 737, 
The pilot literally sits down into the cockpit and you're like, yeah, throttle up, we're ready to roll. Okay, they don't do that. They hop into the cockpit, okay, and the first thing they do, they used to actually whip out an actual book. Most of them though now have an iPad. They whip out an iPad and they start going through a checklist. Okay. By the way, I love actually watching the pilots go through the checklist. They walk outside the plane. They're like pulling on the engines and stuff. I'm like, uh, that really, it gives me some confidence. This plane's going to be okay because that guy. Mentioned. Nevertheless, though, it's all about pre-flight. Okay. All the systems are checked before they ever execute any movement. And once they actually get you up in the air, what? What do you think a pilot does most of the time in the air? Okay, plays like Scrabble on the iPad most of the time, once in a while dials in, goes, oh yeah, I'm here still, I'm here. It's extremely boring. 90, 95% of the time, nothing happens. And the other 5% of the time, you're like, oh, okay, I'm awake. Okay, trading is no different, okay? It's just no different. Look, we build definitive criteria for each strategy and all the variables you're gonna go through. But now we're taking a step beyond here at Theo Trade, okay? We're actually into ultimate alerts. We answer the questions for you, the right probability, how many option contracts, when do I close the sale? What if we sell off big? Do I bail out of a trade? What if we rally massively? Can I fix a losing position? It's about how, when, why, at what price. It's just the beginning, just the beginning of the variables you're gonna face while selling Ultima options for a living. Look, you can read what selling Ultima premium is. Like you can go onto Google right now, okay? And you can probably Google sell option premium, 10,000 different pages are going to show up. Maybe even have to, you've built a few trades. Some of you guys have actually sold premium, okay? What Google and what you don't have is criteria, okay? What you don't have, okay, is ultimately the alerts. We actually have alerts based on finite criteria. We had access to client order flow 15 years, okay? Almost everybody here has over 20 plus years of trading experience. We've viewed and studied millions of trading accounts. I specifically ran education for 15 years at TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim. We had the largest option order flow in the entire industry. Okay. All the criteria and all the alerts, the genesis comes from just that. Ultimate Alerts is your recipe for success. The following strategy. The corresponding criteria requires the utmost attention to detail. We spent years fine-tuning the trade setup, okay, and the real-time alerts on the convenience of your mobile device, okay? Ultima Income Generator Alerts. We are now providing you three months, okay, to try out the alerts for $297. You know, I said try out the alerts. I don't think that's a fair thing. Here's the tryout portion. It's $297. After three months, it's still $297, okay? The reason I say try out, we provide a money-back guarantee. It's just plain and simple. You can try out Theo Trade for the next three months. Yeah, we charge you 300 bucks for it. If you want to continue after three months, it's another 300 bucks. Okay. We tried to come up with a price point that makes it absolutely everybody for any account size to be able to hop in to at least try it, to experience. Okay. I'm the trader for the portfolio for Theo Theta Small. Okay. And the Theo Theta Large. We call them Theo Theta. What's theta? Theta is decay. There's the small portfolio, okay? We say 5,000 minimum account size. You can do it with two grand in here, but I actually prefer to put 5,000 in here. And I'll tell you why. You got to pay 297 bucks, okay, every three months. I don't want that to chip into, okay, anything. So with $2,000 in here, it's going to be hard, you know, to make money when you have to pay $297. The $5,000 account though, it's thumbs up. The Theo Theta, the bigger portfolio, $50,000 account. Most people are going to follow some of the small portfolio initially. And when you're comfortable, you can work right into the large one. We will have text and push notification Okay, there. When I say text and push notification, okay, text messages, I'll show you here momentarily. All right. But I'm actually going to pull up Theo Trade. So this is Theo Trade. See if you guys can actually see it. I love how it disappears on there. It's a Theotrade app. In the Theotrade app, as long as they have the app downloaded, okay, it does push notification. Push notification can reach anywhere in the world, okay? As ridiculous as it sounds, okay, I do wear like a little Apple watch. I don't care what watch you wear, whatever. They have watches now that are a hundred bucks, even less than that for like the older Apple watches. It taps you on the wrist when there's, a, you know, a, an alert. So push notification taps you on the wrist. Okay. Uh, a text message obviously taps you on the wrist. 
That'll wake you up from a deep sleep even. Okay, the trade alerts are yours. Go to theotrade.com forward slash skew. In fact, I'm going to take you there before I even explain anything. Okay, everything that you do here at Theotrade, all right, is still included. Right? And I'll explain that. Go to theotrade.com forward slash skew. It's S is in Sam, K is in kick, E is in echo, W, theotrade.com forward slash skew. Okay. There is a completely riskless deal here today. I'll mention that momentarily. It's 297 bucks to add to cart. The other aspect in here that's critical to understand, we do not auto renew or auto bill you. We don't do that. Meaning for $297, it's a one-time thing. That's it. It's a one-time thing. Now, the Ultima Income Generator Alerts. I okay, am the portfolio manager and instructor. It's a positive theta portfolio. It's no holds barred trading approach. You can see everything. Okay, It's full disclosure. All trades, opening, closing, hedging. You get to watch me trade and discuss positions. On top of it, and I think you guys will appreciate this, I do a weekly video okay, every Friday that updates you on all the moves that we have made. Okay, I do a weekly video. And again, it updates you in 12 minutes on everything that we've done. So if you missed anything or you're kind of curious, why did he do this? Remember, okay, are we executing trades? Absolutely. Are we sending out alerts? Of course we are. Okay. But we still want you to learn. We still absolutely want you to learn. And we have Theo Theta large and Theo Theta small. You get access to both of those. There's also a 90 day money back guarantee. Okay. Now we do this specifically to make it like easier for people. Look, you know, there's some people that are coming here for the very first time. They don't know me, okay? I don't know you. You don't know me. It's kind of a get-to-know-you thing here. There's no stipulations in the money-back guarantee. Look, you know, the one thing that I just really, really stress, okay, we want people here at Theotrade that want to learn this business. I've always said that before, but it's, I mean, look, we want people that want to be here. And I'll tell you what, it's it's 200 and $97. There's no like, you know, couple thousand dollar ticket charge. Eh, crap. It's 297 bucks. I don't want anybody to ever be displeased. If if for $297, <clears throat> excuse me, you're displeased, just ask for your money back. It's okay. There's no excuses. You don't have to show us anything. No questions. You don't call us. Don't call us. This is not a gym membership. Like a gym membership, you have to like give blood to get out. You're like, get me out of the gym membership. They're like, you have to go to the post office, do a dance at the post office to get out of a gym membership and send them a certified letter. By the way, I actually had that happen to me. Okay, During COVID, I left Scottsdale and I moved to the Virgin Islands and I couldn't get out of a gym membership. They wouldn't let me out. They said, you have to send a certified letter. Okay, I'm like, our post office doesn't do that down here on the island. They go, that sucks. Okay, And I'm like, oh, you know, you know it's 297 bucks. I don't care if you don't like it, get your money back. I'd rather have you part ways with us on good terms. It's 297 bucks. That's why it's like, it's it, make it as easy as possible. Okay. Um, and by the way, just email us, support at theotrade.com, receive a full refund if you don't, if you don't love it. Okay. We get it. Look, sometimes life gets in the way, you know, this is going on, that's going on, but you start with the alerts. And if it's not for you, okay, we get it. Look, ultimate alert goes on to any mobile device. You can also, obviously, you can do it on your computer as well. Here's the uh, portfolio. It's all opening and closing trades. And I know everybody wants to see this. The 2022 Ultima Portfolio Returns. This is the bigger portfolio on a $50,000 account. Okay, on a $50,000 account. First of all, time out. I never, ever had anywhere near that kind of risk. I never used, okay, during all of 2022, I never used more than $17,000, okay, of buying power. BP is buying power. I never used more than $17,000 of buying power. The return was 56.6. It's $28,314.75 on roughly a 50,000 account. Now you needed a 50,000 in the account just in case I wanted to go like hog wild with margin, but I never used I never used more than 17 hours of buying power at any portion, okay, during 2022. Again, oh, there was a question in here and I wanna bring it up immediately. Okay, so you go to theotrade.com uh, forward slash skew, 
Okay, theotrade.com forward slash SKU. It's S is in Sam, K is in kick, E is in echo, W, okay, to enroll. In enrolling, there are 30 riskless spots. Now, that, when I say 30 riskless spots, it's 30 of the spots for the money back guarantee. That we absolutely do to incentivize you to enroll today. Like, look, okay, we've been doing this for years. We've been around now since, at Theotrade, we've been around since 2016. Okay. So yes, we've been around for a while, but even before that, most of us actually were, were pretty cohesive group. Okay. Almost this entire group has been together for years before that. Like Jeff Bierman <clears throat> worked in my group all the way back at uh, Thinkorswim, then TD Ameritrade, Blake Young, Brandon Chapman. I mean, we've known these guys for, wow, Blake, I've known over 20 years. That makes both of us old. Uh, anyway, there's 30 riskless spots and we do that to incentivize you today. When you click add to cart, okay? Somebody was asking about the text messages. So I wanna clarify this, okay? When you click add to cart and you go through the billing information, first of all, you can pay 300 bucks today, okay? You can do two payments of 149, three payments of $100. I don't care. All of these, all of these, okay? Are still eligible for the 90 day money back guarantee. There's any of the payment. Like if you go here and go, I wanna do two payments, Okay, of 149, just to limit my risk. I get it, whatever. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. It's 300 bucks, but it, all of them are eligible for the money back guarantee. The next thing, and I want to reiterate this again, we do not auto renew, meaning that, yeah, your credit card's in there. We don't do that. At the end of three months, we literally send you an email. Do you want to do this again? And you have to actually go in there and say, I want to do it again. And that's up to you. But uh, you have to put your phone number in here. When you put your phone number in there, that automatically gets you onto the Theo Theta small portfolio. The large portfolio, you still have to opt into it because we want people to know the large portfolio, it's large, okay? But that's, that's the billing information in here. Anyway, it's theotrade.com forward slash SKU. Now, continuing on over there, um, we do the weekly alert Okay, video. So any trade I send out in the small portfolio, in the large portfolio, I give you an update, you know, and, and again, the updates are done. This is an older screenshot, but the updates are done every week. What is it? What do the updates actually look like? If I go into Theotrade, you can go into the different portfolios. Okay. Uh, right here. Okay. Look, March 31st, March 24th, every Friday. All right. We're out there doing updates. You actually just click on that little monkey right there. Okay, the video, eight minutes. This one's only eight minutes and it'll actually walk you through every single position, okay? Exactly what I did when I sold it, when I bought it back, all of it, right? Nothing is kind of left to chance in there. By the way, these are what the text messages look like. If you're curious, right? To open to close and text message comes out, it says, okay? Ultima trade, Theo Theta, small portfolio, MES, the trade's done in the MES. These are the puts I'm selling, the call I'm selling. Okay. This is a hedging in here. Uh, this is Wednesday, February 1st. I'm buying this back for 50% profit, closing this one for 50% profit. A few more text messages in here. This is a little bit more recent. Okay. This is, again, strategy, inflection point trade, Theo Theta, small portfolio, closing order. Right. This is, again, work aggressively for a fill, work aggressively for a fill. All right. But when I say aggressively for a fill, it means bang it. Got to get out, got to get in. All right, that's that's a heavy volatility day. Work orders aggressively for a fill. I give you prices. Everything is in here. Everything you're going to need to be executed. What our members are saying, this comes from Pat. It says, thank you for your replies. Very much appreciated. Theotrade is the first educational trading service that I'm actually making a profit with and one which I can see a pathway to retirement, right? This one actually comes from John. I closed my uh, year-to-date profit from Ultima Trades, has paid Okay, for my yearly Theo Trade subscription. Okay, comes from John. Finally, from Jeff, I want to thank you for all the different staff points of view this year. Okay, I did more of what works and less of what didn't. Thanks to your selling premium. Okay, I took over twelve thousand dollars to thirty-two thousand dollars in eighteen months. Okay, I've been doing your math. Thanks again. Look forward to your new ideas in the coming year. All right. Look, get into Theo Trade now. There's uh, apparently I put on here twenty spots left. I think there's thirty spots. We had an abundance of individuals in here today. So my apologies. We have opened up for today 
30 spots in the field trade risk list deal. Okay. Because we had an abundance of people actually joining today. That basically means is for the $297 rate, if you want the 90 day money back guarantee, be one of the first 30 people to enroll today. Look, we also, in addition to this, we'll give you unlimited email mentoring, right? That basically means you're not just following trades. You can email us anytime about any of the trades. The way I implore you to understand, we will answer trade related questions here, trade related questions. Right. So the $297 riskless offer has never been done with ultimate income generator alerts. And there's no stipulations, money back guarantee. We just we haven't really experimented with this yet and doing it for three months. Get ready for text messages. You'll see text messages <laughs> if they come from strange numbers. That's us. <laughs> OK, one of the numbers we use is actually a Virgin Island number. OK, so go to Theotrade.com forward slash skew. Right now, you obviously can enroll for this. I'm going to answer a couple of more questions over here, general questions for everybody as we go through. I want to make sure that we get all of the questions kind of resolved uh, regarding anything Theotrade related. One thing, you know, I hadn't really put much emphasis into this, but okay, you also get access to our chat room. Like if you want to trade with us throughout the course of the day, we still trade throughout the course of the day. Some people like, ah, I don't have the time for that, but you still get access to it. Okay. Look, this is Tony Rago. He's trading futures throughout the course of the day. You don't pay any more for this. Okay. You just, you don't pay any more through this. Like, what do you mean? You don't pay more chat rooms. Part of it. You can have access to all of our archives. Here's like a class archive. Let's see if I have that open yet. All right. All right. This is the uh, opt-in for that. Let's come over here to uh, archives. Let's go to the class archive. What's the class archive? Okay, this is every class that we've ever done here at Theotrade. You get access to all of this. Okay, if you want to learn a little bit about the ultimate income generator, that's the original course. Okay, then we have the inflection point strategy course, which is very similar to Ultima. Okay, it's an Ultima premium selling strategy inflection point. We have Catapult. Catapult is awesome. It's more of a slingshot than a catapult, but you get the idea, right? All of these are courses that you will have access to immediately, all of them. And you get the alerts and you get everything. Look, again, what our members are saying, um, uh, this is a very recent email. It says, Don, I re-up with Theotrade because your ultimate income generator program based on the market changes taking place in options trading and quickly convinced when I saw your presentation at Ultima, it's the best investment uh, strategy in the market today. The other thing his email goes into, he emailed us on Friday, Okay, 3.45 Eastern time, okay? Figured he would get a call back maybe on Monday. He got a call at uh, 4.10, it was Brian Aponte. Brian Aponte is actually our primary support individual. Okay, spent about 20 minutes with me to make sure a problem was fixed. So we're on it, we answer emails and I want you guys to know that that's the, uh, the root of that one. Again, go to theotrade.com forward slash skew. For those of you that uh, as you're enrolling for this, if you go to the bottom of the screen, okay? There is the uh, auto expected move indicator found directly on that site. Again, it's theotrade.com forward slash skew. Okay. Uh, it's just click add to cart. Let me answer some generalized questions. Look, there are presently okay, 30 spots. We had an abundance of individuals uh, hop on today. So we opened up 30 riskless spots. Again, 30 riskless spots uh, on the uh, 90 day money back guarantee over here. So some general questions, then we'll get into some specific questions, okay? If you guys are enrolling, okay, we'll try to let you know it takes me about, okay? It takes me about five to seven minutes before I see your name populate in here because people get a little worried about, am I one of the first 30 people, whatever, to enroll, okay? We'll see the name come through. We'll let you guys know. So some of the general questions, what do you really need to get started? And, you know, I used to put it in here, you need a laptop and an internet connection. You don't even need a laptop anymore, okay? Everything that we do and we execute can be done off of a mobile device. The applications on the mobile side, they're just phenomenal now. Like, I can't, seriously, they're absolutely phenomenal right now, what you can do off the phone. Moreover, you can even watch all the classes that we do here at Theotrade, okay? When I say you can watch the classes, Okay, this is the class archive. Like I can come in here and watch, for example, the catapult class. 
Let's see if you can see it. Anyway, you can see everything, every class on here. You can see all the alerts on the mobile device and you can actually execute on either Thinkorswim or Tasty Trade directly off your mobile device. So it's not gonna be like a huge deal where you have to you know, fork over money. Do you have to have a ridiculous computer? No, do I use one? Yes, okay, because I'm a geek, right? I like, and I sit in front of my computer a lot during the course of the day. Um, I like my large computer. I've had one for years. Anyway, hmm. number two, this is not a membership. We don't auto renew anymore. Look, people don't like the idea. People don't like the idea of auto renew. They just don't like it. It's 297, 297, 297. So we stopped it, okay? And we stopped that because people didn't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> so you get to make up your mind. It just, it hasn't really hurt us at all. People are like, that's not a good business decision. It hasn't hurt us at all. In fact, it's actually helped us. We don't ever want to charge your card unless you're completely comfortable with it. Like that's, it's a big portion. That's why we'll give you a, a 90 day money back guarantee. We don't want anybody here, okay, that doesn't fully want to be here. And it's, it's you know, I'm emphatic about a lot of things. If you haven't noticed, that's one of them, okay? I don't want anybody that's like upset. You know, it's, it's amazing because we'll give somebody like a money day back, like, you know, 90 day money back guarantee. It's, it's 297 bucks, okay? It's, it's worth checking out. <clears throat> anyway, a couple of names just came in. So the first batch of names came in. So I'm just going to read off the first name, okay? And the first initial of your last name, just to let you know that we see you, you've enrolled. Um, Devin R. from California, okay? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher this next one. Pratt Ba P. from New York. Apologize, I'm trying my best over here. Dennis B. from Texas. John O. from California. Mike B. from California. Russell E. from Florida. Carlos R. from Florida. It's just the first batch of names that has come through. Those are individuals, okay? I'm just confirming you have enrolled, okay? We see you on there. Um, you'll receive emails from us, obviously, username, password, everything here momentarily. Um, onward and upward, and we'll read off a couple more names as they come in. As I said, it takes five to seven minutes to so kind of lag in a little bit here. All right, uh, the next one. <clears throat> We're now providing weekly video updates so you can follow all the moves we make. When I say weekly video updates, it's, you know, uh, here, an example would be like today. Today, I closed I closed part of the Theo Theta portfolio. These 3225 puts were bought back. So if the 3225 puts are bought back, I'll talk about that in the weekly update video. Like, hey, you know, on, on Tuesday, I bought back 3225 puts, yada, yada, yada. Okay, the reason I did that, it hit a 50% gain. At that point, the hedge was almost worthless. So we're gonna let the hedge go to expiration. And that's fine, that's kind of how it works. Uh, and the video is usually under 12 minutes, okay? Number four, we provide access to Theotrade Mobile. You receive push notifications. So the reason I talk about the mobile device a lot, first of all, we do text messaging, okay? Secondly, we do push notifications. Push notifications are actually important because if you're not in the United States or Canada, okay, you can't necessarily get US text messages. It's actually, it's a real problem, but instead we just do push notification. It's like if, if you have kids, you know, your kids always want to do like stuff like Snapchat because they can just talk to one another. Okay. We have a mobile application. So you're capable of just getting those text messages and the push notifications, no matter where you are, like that's really important for us. Okay. Uh, number five, add your cell phone number when you enroll, uh, receive alerts, okay? obviously text messaging. So uh, number six, you can email us anytime, anytime receive a response within 24 hours. Okay. Most of the time we respond to you within 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. We always put 24 hours because when you email me, um, there's times where like, look, when it's a Thursday or Friday, I make no two ways about this. Friday, by far my busiest day of the week. It's expiration day, okay? I'm managing five different portfolios, moving a couple of million dollars around. I will definitely answer emails, but most of the time, the emails that I answer are before the market opens or after the market closes. Depends on what time zone I'm in. Right now, I'm actually on Pacific time, not answering anything before the market. The market opens at 6.30 in the morning here right now. 
Um, in a few weeks, I'll be back living on the island. I'll answer tons of emails before because the market doesn't open until 930. Just depends on what time zone I'm in. But uh, we'll get to all your trade related questions. Uh, number seven, variations of all the trades that we do are available inside of an IRA. You can do anything you want now in an IRA. They've changed the rules. Okay, with as little as $2,000 in a funded account, $5,000 in an IRA, $2,000 for a margin account. Number eight, at Theo Trade, we can actually direct you to the right brokers, okay, and get you option approval for anything you want to do. It's also incredibly important, right? You want to be able to trade what we're doing. What we're doing is, you know, at times we're selling some premium, okay? Yeah, there's a lot of brokers out there, but some of them just don't want you to do anything. They'll have like a Fidelity account. Fidelity, they don't even have some of the products that we trade. It's tough, okay? Look, there's 30 riskless spots available. Get results, take action, and roll for Theo Trade now. Like there's no risk to you in doing so. So I'm going to answer a few more questions and we'll kind of wrap things up again uh, a little bit here. So as I was saying, it's theotrade.com forward slash skew. S is in Sam, K is in kick, E is in echo, W, theotrade.com forward slash skew. Okay. Of the 30 riskless spots, I, we've probably eaten about uh, oh, over half of them right now. I'm just waiting for more names to actually populate in here, which uh, will come up momentarily. Okay. Um, uh, by the way, somebody said, if you have an annual membership to Theotrade, do you have access to Ultimate Trades? Absolutely. Okay. And, and some people will eventually elect, but that's neither here nor there right now. Again, we would offer a yearly membership if that's something you want to do. There's no problem in signing up though for three months for $297 and kind of go from there. Um, just making sure we're good. Uh, okay. Reading back over here. Yeah, we got uh, most of the questions. Okay. Somebody had asked, uh, uh, how did the, uh, it's a $45,000 portfolio. So um, we have a $50,000, $50,000 portfolio. Uh, again, the returns in there were, um, were uh, I mean, decent. I, again, last year, and again, I'll come back to that. Last year in the portfolio, because there was a specific questions about portfolios and returns, it's 56%, right? You can do a lot a lot with options and futures without substantiating, again, a critical, critical amount of risk. So um, that's, it's one reason that we, you know, we've aggressively moved now to sending out uh, different text alerts. It's because we believe strongly in the portfolio returns, but we also, in the midst of volatility right now, this is a tough time if you're new to kind of get ramped up into it. So we're feeding you while you're actually learning, you're getting to see us executing. By the way, a couple more names, Craig M from Illinois, James E from Illinois, okay? Um, I just pulled that back up though over there, okay? Oh, the uh, the $5,000 portfolio, the $5,000 portfolio, I think it did, um, I wanna say off the top of my head, because uh, that one I haven't actually looked at in the last couple of weeks, it's like 39%, okay? Somewhere in the neighborhood of a uh, 39%. And uh, I can get the, the specifics. By the way, every trade is available in there and you can actually you know, do all your own analysis in the trades, put everything in there from previous years. We don't blank the slate because it's the beginning of the year. A lot of people do that. I don't pull that crap, especially when I've had good years. Like I don't, I don't blank the slate and we just, we just leave it in there. So um, with that, I'm gonna wrap things up uh, today. I wanna thank everybody for, uh, for popping in over here. If you have more questions, we'll be here for a few minutes to be able to answer them, okay? There's a few more questions popping in right now. I may stay on here for a minute or two more, make sure that I get everything uh, resolved, okay, in here. Again, looks good, looks good. I think we got uh, the vast amount of them, okay? Somebody said, when you have only a very small account, how do you know when the alert is for the small accounts? So the alerts are labeled. All alerts are labeled, okay, for any of the accounts. So as you actually go through and you look at the alerts, I'll bring you back to that. Look, it says specifically, small portfolio, small portfolio, okay? If it was going to be the big portfolio, these are all small portfolio. The big portfolio, I predominantly co copied and pasted from the small, but if it was the big portfolio, okay, it would have a completely different distinction on it. 
Okay, it's theta theta and it's at large. You just it will distinctly tell you what is the large portfolio and uh, and what is of course the uh, the smaller of the portfolios out there. Um, with that, I want to thank each and every one of you for attending today. Um, fantastic. We got most of your questions answered. I'll stay on here for a few more minutes, answer a few more questions. Have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. Bye-bye.